And for the team of the decade, Tigres win CONCACAF Champions League in 2020. Quedamos pocos de, de esa final perdida contra Tigres. Fue un momento complicado para el club. Yo creo que teníamos una gran ilusión. En 2020 teníamos muy buenos jugadores, pero creo que por ahí nos faltó mucho la experiencia. A tough day for everyone. Soccer always brings you second chances. A second chance for us to be in another Champions League final. I think it is important in these tournaments to start on the right leg, to come out with a really good result. We are able to do that with Ala Valencia. What a way to cap this off! I do think that put us in a good moment for the rest of the tournament. LAFC certainly has that hunger here this year. Grâce à l'équipe, voilà, le, les, les buts et, et les passes que j'ai fait euh, en CONCACAF. C'est la deuxième finale, oui, et je suis très content de justement arriver en finale de CONCACAF. Voilà, ça sera la deuxième en, en peu de temps. We've seen some good opponents, but we've also been playing at a really high level and showing why we think we're the best team in this league and hopefully the best team in CONCACAF as well. Nos hemos preparado muy bien para esta final y simplemente queda poder agarrar esos pequeños detalles que definen finales va a ser el que se lleve el título. All right, welcome everybody. Welcome to Black and Gold fans around the world. This is the day that you've been waiting for. LAFC is in Guanajuato, Mexico at Estadio León. This is the away leg of the CONCACAF Champions League, a.k.a the most important game in LAFC history, part one. Uh, I am Vince LaRosa. With me are the boys from Happy Foot, Sad Foot, Travis Helwig and Darren Miller. Travis and Darren, are you as nervous, cautiously optimistic as I am as we go into this match? I am anxious foot is how I would describe it. I am um, oh. clenching. I'm clenching right now, Vince. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> I actually can tell you're, oh. you're clenching, Travis. You're normally much looser, and there's just you have this like weight to you. <laughs> I, I am, yeah, his aura is off. <laughs> it, it's um, you know, it's normally you, you see me post a game, and we know what we're dealing with, or it's or it's you know way before. I am an I I get nervous watching soccer, and so if I start screaming at any point, or I just puke from nervousness, I apologize to the people at home. <laughs> It's a very strategic move that our show is a post game and a pre game episode, and nobody sees the insanity that happens to us during the games. How are no. you feeling, Vince? Uh, about the same. Yeah. So, uh, guys, it, it, you're watching us, and you're watching us either on LAFC's YouTube or Twitch channel. And basically, yeah, you're going to get to see the horror that happens in between pre and post games uh, for our respective platforms, Happy Foot Sad Foot, or if you listen to the Max and Vince podcast. And what we're doing here is we are watching the game with you. So a couple of things up front. The game is not going to be on here. It's a, It'll be our faces. We'll have some cool guests, um, which is more than enough, I would say. But it's not going to be on here. So please. Who needs the game? Yeah, you're not going to be watching it on here. You're going to have to watch it either on Fox Sports 1 or 2DNA. So just get that out there right now. Second thing, we're not doing play-by-play. -play. I am not um, John Strong. Uh, as much as Travis uh, looks uh, like Ryan Gosling, he is not uh, Stuart Thank Holden. You. And Darren does have the same political leanings as Alexi Lawless, but is not. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> I just torpedoed the whole wow. show. Hey, Darren, where like were you seconds. on January 6th? Where were you on January Unbelievable. <laughs> None of this is true. It's all, it's oh, all downhill boy. from here. Uh, but no, we're yeah. not going to be doing play-by-play. -play. As you can tell, we're going to be having fun. We're going to be joking around. It's like you're watching with us at a bar, clearly, because I've already taken it off the rails. So we're going to joke around. If you guys are in the comments, send questions, comments, concerns, anything that you really want. Like, let's have fun. Let's have a great time. It, it's the away leg. We're sadly not all there. We're at our own home. So let's have the best time we can possible. Okay? And so with that, we're looking at the screen right now, and you guys as well. When they're seeing the guys, uh, the, both teams are out there. Let's go to the LAFC starting lineup uh, before kickoff. Let's let's kind of go over this with the guys. I'll, I'll read it out for you guys, and then uh, Darren, 
Travis, give me any kind of surprises, concerns, worries, or ways that you're super stoked. Okay. So in goal, John McCarthy. Across the back line, we have Ryan Hollingshead, Daniil Maldonado, Aaron Long, Cheeky Palacios. Midfield is going to be Ilya Sanchez with Timothy Tillman and Jose C. Fuentes. And up front, it's about what you'd expect. Carlos Vela, Mahalo Poku, and the man, the myth, the legend, the top scorer in the CONCACAF Champions League, Denny Bowanga. Boys, how do, do we feel a little bit better now that I've read you the starting lineup? Yeah, I was hoping for LAFC too, but I'll handle this. If it has to be these guys, I'll do it. No, I mean, why look, isn't Ordaz starting? <laughs> um, Ordaz is on the bench. I don't know. I I feel good. I, I was mean, excited this is, to see him on the bench. This is the team that we wanted to see. I think you know we know Kellen's coming back from injury, so we have Tillman and Sifu in the center, and I think Maldonado in the back uh, is sort of the only option. The more that you explained to me that Mario has a yellow card accumulation, so that's why he's not in there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, this is our best team that we could field at the moment. Um, isn't that right? You're the smart one, Vince. Oh no, you guys are doing also, also a twist on this. These guys are doing all the tactics. I'm just air tap. <laughs> oh, oh, no. We're playing a six, nine, four, two, us. zero. <laughs> I'm going to do the comedy. They're going to do all the tactics. This is going to go well. <laughs> this is going to be great. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's uh, the best lineup you, you can expect. I, I think I mean, look, I, I'll ask you guys because I am kind of biased having gotten to see him in, in training and, and kind of talk with people, but like Daniel Maldonado, I have actual like full on confidence. It's not even like a, like a, Oh man, I'm, I'm worried. Like I have full confidence in him when he starts games now. Yeah, he's good. He's, I think he's fully earned. If he wasn't the only option, I think he's earned that spot. I think he's, He's been looking great. I mean, our back line is – think about if everybody was healthy. But like, what an insane back line we have. Can I just it tell is. you that they're showing the, the captains um, with each other right now? And, and I love that soccer is one of the only sports where you give a gift to each other. <laughs> I'd be like, here. And it's just like a, a cheesy pendant, but it's like, here, have this. It's like Carlos Vela has to bake a cake before every game to give to the other team. <laughs> it's like very Ted Lasso esque. He makes little cookies and puts them in a cute, quaint little box and hands them over. Yeah, that, yeah. that would actually be uh, kind of cool. Um, to answer Elias in the chat, yes, Mario can play the second leg. He's just out for the first leg of the finals. Um, so we do have him for the second leg. Oh, yeah. I might point out that Travis and Darren are on chat duty. So they will be yes. doing the a chat selection. Chat popping of off words. already. I love it. And the reason why I say this is because don't yell at me if I don't read out your thing. I'm not looking at it. It's their fault. And, le- and yell at us. Likewise, if you want to say something about Vince and you don't want him to know, just write "Don't tell Vince" and then put it in the comments, yes, and I'm yes. happy to learn about it. Yes. <laughs> oh no, it's a lot starting. Of happy foot, foot. Viewers and listeners in the chat, I love it. <sighs> Rancho got- hitting up both chats. What's up? Travis, you saying, oh, no, it's starting, just gave me, like, a cold sweat. Like, I just got immediately <laughs> more nervous than I was. Guys, and it, oh, man. And, and LFC right. will kick off. No no, uh, no advantage there, really, I don't think. But uh, they will they will kick us off here. It is really nice to see, like, the front line. It's been a bit. It's nice to see these guys. Oh, boy. Oh. And the booze, the booze rained down. I know. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. I am. That is. Uh, I don't. I don't know. What, what do we know about like the Leon fan base? What What is their? It's a smaller stadium, MO? right? Which makes it louder. Yeah, it's smaller than most. You know, it's not like uh, where like Chivas plays or Club America plays, which are just gargantuan stadiums. Um, it's a Leon though is a large, largest city in Mexico. I think it's the fourth largest city by population. So it's not like it's just this quaint little town. With a bunch of villagers, right. like it's it's a legit place. So, um, they're not messing around. Yeah, they're not messing around. Oh, and I do the drinking game. I will be playing is that uh, I will take a drink every time I mispronounce Leon. Um, so just let me know when I mispronounce Leon, and I'll do. <laughs> I think that second one, you you borderline. The first one, you're pretty good. Good. <laughs> the drinking game I will be playing is that I'll be drinking too much too often. <laughs> um, I'm looking Oof. at the comments here. Ooh, go go Mahala. Daniel J, happy foot Zephyr supporters okay. group in the house. I love it. Mario listening in the car driving home in horrible traffic. Oh no. <laughs> I mean both Jim Jamma, Vince uh, LaRosa is the man in all caps. 
We're setting the bar high, Vince. What there are we going to go. say, Vince? All down here. I mean, the two teams look like – we talked a little bit about Leon not playing since May 7th. Uh, they don't They don't seem to be like they're going to sit back. It looks like both teams are going to go at each other. Woo! Sifu. All right. Sifu. I love – Sifu is the best energy. Well, he play. That's that's just the way. He, like he's a, he's a vibes player, right? Like whenever yeah, I see, like yeah. people people will reach out to me, but like Sifu didn't do this like precise little thing. I'm like, that's not him, bro. Like you got to let him be free. That's his that's his gig. He kind of right, turns it pieces, on. Set pieces. Oh, oh yes. We'll say pleasantly surprised that no missiles or any other objects were thrown at Carlos Vela while on that corner. Well, it's early, Vince. Carlos Vela must be the most the most hit with beer player, <laughs> at least in the MLS. <laughs> I like that he sells oh. it too. Like anytime he gets hit with something, it's like a ten minute stoppage of play. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he does a full on like if you sell the penalty. <laughs> okay. Yes, there yeah, we go. It's gonna be a lot of weird noises that come yeah. out throughout the entire <laughs> broadcast. Yeah, at the end of this, we have a great supercut of just noises. Yep. <laughs> hey, we need the LFC media team to just cut every se- like weird sound we make and release yeah, yeah. it on the official Instagram of the team. If anyone in the chat is screen capturing all these things, you have my permission to gif all the coolest moments <laughs> and just send them out into the world of without context. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Okay. Okay. Molly's head got beat. Why are we there? getting cute? Just get it out. Okay. All right. Is that Tillman? Oh, yeah. Tillman footwork. Timmy. Oh, yeah. Who else Man, has those a, feet? There's a lot of space. Go, go, Ooh. go. Oh, is he on? I don't know, but. Oh, that's why probably he stopped. A, yeah, probably a better idea. He didn't go for it. Buanga looks like he's got a fresh cut. Something together here. It should make Travis excited. Buanga, uh, most beautiful man in Major League Soccer. Um, would leave my What's wife for him without a doubt. <laughs> okay, Alex a little Peters, too cute. Alex, Alex Peters in the chat says over under 2.5 bottles of piss thrown. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll take the under optimistically. Wait, uh, at the match or at, in our homes? Oh, <laughs> I guess we'll have oh, to yeah, go I can't, at the are match. We al- we don't... Are we allowed to go to the bathroom or do I have to piss in a bottle? <laughs> Because <laughs> then a lot of it's going to get thrown if we have I'll to piss in the bottle. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you decide whether you're allowed. So being to... in the bottle, the bottle's getting thrown. If someone could text John Thorrington and find, him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it you know it seems like both teams are very energetic to start this game. It's a little stretch, and but yeah. it looks like both teams are like, let's score five goals with one right now. Yeah. In the chat, tell Vince this is Leonardo from the old 110 football chat. And I say oh. hello and Dolly, let's win another cup. Leo, I love Leo. Leo came and hang out with hung out with us and we when we did post game at 110 football after Come on, the tell last cup final, which was amazing. Oh. Ooh. I just realized I'm gonna stand up at some point and everyone's gonna realize I'm in athletic shorts. I didn't wear anything below. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have um like giraffe patterned uh sweatpants on and I'm not joking. <laughs> I love it. Ooh. We should have all just worn underwear. So close from Timothy. Timmy's like, here's your tactics. <laughs> we talking yeah, about wait. emotion? Yeah, can we talk could, let's let's talk about it a little bit. I don't know if anybody in the chat knows about this, but it's a big deal because Timmy mentioned that he thought the game was not gonna be very tactical, it was gonna be a lot about emotion and about one v ones. Uh, because that's kind of the way Leon plays. Like, were you guys offended? Super offended by that? What? It, like, when you when you read that, what did you think? Uh, well, the thing that I realize is listening to your podcast, um, the MVP Max and Vince podcast. Good plug. Um, you had uh, remind me his name again. Marco Garces. Uh-oh. Uh oh. And uh, uh, no. Oh, oh my fucking my god. God. <sighs> John McCarthy. Ooh, did he get a hand on that? Yeah, he's the best part about Philadelphia. I don't like <laughs> anything else about Philadelphia. <laughs> he's also like the only winner from Philadelphia, the way sports are going there. Mm. Oh, it's not God. a good year. Oh, yeah. did that touch the real, post? Oh, 
Oh, oh wow. Great save. That's why oh, you were wow. gloves two sizes too what big. Actually, save. I don't know that. But wow. <laughs> Oh, John McCarthy. Fuck. Yeah, let's. That was. Let's get it all out of our huge. system early. John, make a couple saves, and then we we're gonna grow into it. Second uh. half team. Oh, there's a sub already. Wow. Okay. Ooh, someone's hurt. Somebody's hurt They're on hurt. their own. Is that the captain. Man, I'd be so pissed captain? if that was yeah. me. The CONCACAF patch is already falling off. <laughs> that is the most it's frustrating a, thing interesting in Interesting placement of that CONCACAF patch, by the way. <laughs> they can't cover the ad, so it has to go here. No, of course not. Patch. Well, it's hard to put it anywhere on that uniform without covering ads. Who is yeah. that? Who what, Who was the captain? That's a, okay, so Moreno comes no, out. Moreno. Elias, Elias Hernandez yeah. comes in. Elias Hernandez is a player that plays a lot for this team. Oh, God. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Set pieces. It did not seem like we moved a lot on that corner kick. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was a pretty free header. Well, um oh, there's good. your captain. Tasio is your captain, who is one of the oh, okay. who is one of the few few holdovers from when we played them back in twenty twenty. Oh no. Oh yeah, he's just kind of I mean, in that perfectly placed. <sighs> well, we've got a lot of time to make it up. I don't know. So they're saying on the broadcast is zonal marking. I don't know if it's per se zonal. I think they just kind of set a little pick, and he's just not tight to him. Like you got to be tight to that man. That's a good header. I gotta give him that though. It's a good header. That was a great header. And now just to re remind us, this is an important game, right? Are we playing an important yeah, game? Yeah, so that's that's like not good that that just happened or I will uh... say I mean, they're at home anyways, but away goals don't matter. So yeah. um that's something to keep in mind about this. Um and uh you know, you you get another leg, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's think and what's good about this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, what's how good? Can I, how can let's I spin see. this? Okay. Uh, okay. uh, yeah. People are scored. watching. People are watching. Don't be sad. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Rancho commented in the Twitch chat. Watch live the unspooling of three men live on camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what you'll be seeing. <laughs> you know what? That's what you'd see in, in the best case scenario too. So. <sighs> Pure skill says, "Blame me." As soon as I turned on the TV, Leon scored. Uh, so I guess I'm taking great. The team. It's your fault, dude. <laughs> I'm looking for someone okay. to blame right now. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Thank you. Palacios. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Right. I, I want, I feel like I have, have stuff to say about this, but I, I mean, just, it seems like they're the, all the impetus is in, with Leon right now. And they yeah. looked a little. It's like when a you know a boxer gets punched in the nose. He's a little. They're a little dazed right now, uh, but they better get it to like they need to literally get it together on this corner because if they score another corner, yeah, yeah, it, it starts to get ugly. Because you, yes, you do have two legs, but come on, they're being cute. Oh, what was that? Okay, get out and run. Get okay. out and run. Go go go! Counterattack. Oof. <laughs> They have a lot of space. Yeah, they do. Jeez, and then, what is going on? They're getting they're getting at LAFC's backline very easily. Uh, Thank you, Ryan. Oh. Thank you, Ryan. Guys, I messed up my rug when I when I jumped up. <laughs> your wall rug or your floor rug? No, this this is my wall rug. I have a floor rug yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay. I have it's no a, rugs. It's a tapestry, remember. It's a tapestry. Travis joining us live from Tapestry Studios. Yeah, I would love that Stu Holden. He's holding my hand. Yeah, tell me about it, Steve. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know things are not going well when Steve's actually standing up. 
we've gotten to see him comfortable a lot. Okay. Just can't. We just, Elliot, gotta, we just can't get out of our own end right now. Now, when we were prepping to do this live stream, we never went over the scenario of being down immediately. How would you say from a production <laughs> standpoint, we should go about this? Just sheer terror. Just get... Any emotion that comes to you, just say it out loud. Uh, uh, yeah, look, right they, are, they are they, just toying at the moment. Oh, man. Okay. They look like the team that's been playing games, and we look like the team that has been sitting for three weeks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's All right, John. settle. Let's have some possession. <laughs> Matt you Skinner says, drink more is what. <laughs> Become, Become completely unhinged. unhinged. Start yeah. screaming. <laughs> yeah. Need to be hydrated. The oh. chat is currently encouraging us in the worst way possible. I'd expect nothing less of all yeah, of you. Thank you. We appreciate that, chat. Hey, at least they're sticking with us. Oof. We got to keep some possession at least. Yeah, I would say, and you know, I'm not Steve level expert, but you know, have the ball a little bit. <laughs> uh, maybe move up oh, as a unit. I think that would be cool. Yeah. Okay. Great. Four passes in a row. We're doing great. Wow, we did it. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Put something together. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, we'll no take angle. it. I'll take okay, it. Okay, okay. Oh, but they're ready to go fast again. Yeah, this game it, it's I mean, you can be direct, but you got to understand that like they're they're just going to get it and go right back at you and there's going to be all those spaces again. So there's going to have to be times where you're going to have to actually be kind of just slow and boring. Yeah, you were saying on our podcast that they are a counterattack team, right? They're they're cool with absorbing and then they punch you, right? Yes, and they and they have no and again they have no problem with their guys. Like, oh god, that's a light pass. Whoa. Uh, when they win, nice try, John. <laughs> yeah, when they win possession, they'll send five guys and they'll they don't mind running and not getting the ball because they understand that like that's that's the assignment. Did anyone else just see Ryan Hollingshead pinned in the corner and he had no one to pass to? Oof. Cheeseburger in the chat says, "Can y'all put a mirror behind y'all?" <laughs> oh, good idea. I I like the ingenuity. Yeah, I feel like if you're smart enough to realize that that would that could work, I think you're smart enough to just like my glasses. Find it. I... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're gonna try. We're gonna do what we can. Cheeseburger. Let's see what we can do here. How many laws can we break before they never ask us back yeah, to do this? Yeah. You know what? We're down a goal. Screw it. Let's. let's uh... <laughs> okay, I've got like a picture frame. Let's see if this does anything. No, <laughs> no that's not going to do it. It's, it's metal. I don't know. I'm trying to help you, man. Ugh. Can't say we didn't what try. We Okay. Oof. Okay. 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 Ah, so new rule, guys. You can just kick a guy as long as he doesn't have the ball. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. That's great. That seems pretty interesting. You know, the CONCACAF rules always kind of confuse me. <laughs> Maybe but... it's just a final thing. I don't know. Got oh, it. Oh, wow. That's it's like in Euro oh, basketball wow. when you can go above the rim, you know? <laughs> right. The amount of time they're getting on the attack from our midfield is awfully stressful. Yeah, our midfield is feeling um very very flexible. You know, we're all feeling stressed and it's important to remember to breathe to to focus on your breath yeah yep. if anybody out there does any breathing exercises or has any they can recommend we would we would we'll practice uh, them put it in the chat we'll practice it i just want to officially i just want to recommend to uh you know self-medicate in destructive and unhealthy ways um, <laughs> i think that's the way to go as long as you're 21 and over please drink responsibly yes 
<laughs> if you're trying to drink it responsibly. As Travis finishes his first drink. Ah, thank you. This is the Giorgio Chiellini drink that I had. I will be moving on to the Carlos Vela drink. I have a, a fancy bottle of champagne if Denny Buanga scores. I will open the French uh, sparkling wine. But now... I'm just hoping that by imbibing the Carlos Vela drink that it will awaken him there in Leon and no, he will, no logos and he will come alive and, and will his team. I feel like it is a good situation for Vela to have like a crazy game. Like this referee, like John with his like Philly accent and talking to his referee in English. <laughs> He's probably like, who, what? Give me that John. Give me the yeah. John. I want to kick hey. the John. Hey, jabroni. <laughs> um, Quirk of all trades said, didn't Vince mention earlier in the season on the pod that Dolo's developing the team to be okay with less possession? I think you did mention that, but that doesn't feel like what this is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh, There's a limit to that, right? You... <laughs> yeah, it, it would be okay if like they were closing down players and the players were having to go backwards, but it looks like Leon is having their way with where they're deciding the ball. So like you, you could be okay without possession, but you still want to dictate what the other team's doing kind of with their possession. This is, that is not what is happening. Yeah. They look a step well, quicker. It? Well, there's, they're just like, look how long it's taking somebody to get tight to that player. The only thing that's stopping them right now are last ditch tackles and errors of their own making. That's not a recipe for success. No, honestly, normally at this point, you you would hope that it was close to halftime because you you'd be like, that team needs a talking to, <laughs> but we're not anywhere close to halftime. Yeah. Hey, oh. there we go, three, two, five, two with their thunder sticks. A lot of people. Okay, that is a good showing. Yeah, is anyone good at guessing like the amount of people uh, out of the three of us? I because I, no. I I'm, I'm the worst at it. I would say five hundred, but is that? I just want them to show them again. That made me feel better about the situation. Yeah. Just show the three, two, five, two, please. Can we get a side by side fan? They're cam? playing well. Yes. Uh, Winning in the stands, as they say. Yeah. William says, "Yeah." William says it's very clear that everyone on the stream hasn't seen their favorite soccer team be outplayed for at least a year. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that might be the case. <laughs> yeah, we've been spoiled. <laughs> Wait, it's possible for them to lose? What do you mean? <laughs> what is a goal down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What what is how what? <laughs> Leon didn't get the script, obviously. <sighs> okay. The chat says they said roughly five hundred people, Vince, so you're right. Oh, cool. Unless you had Whoa. some inside information and you just said it as if you didn't know it. Here Here's what it was. My guess is always 500 people. And I figure, like, <laughs> yeah. give or take, I would be close. How many people are watching this stream right now? Eh, 500 people. 500 people. 500 people. If there were 500 people watching this stream right now, I'd be pretty excited. Um, the Brimic has the best question so far, which is how do we feel about Steve's khakis? Guys, I need to do a round oh, table. Yes. What do you Let's guys think about, about Steve's khakis? Okay. You know, does this count as business casual? I don't know. I will say. I've I've said this on many occasions. Jim Curtin is not as good of a dresser as everyone says he is. He just he just buys a fancy thing and wears sneakers. And so I it, just need to bring that to a wider audience. And it's mostly just yeah. the sneakers. Yeah. Well, and he has like a two thousand uh, dollar Gucci jacket or some shit. Yeah, which that's not that's not style. Or buying Prada. A, just because you buy a Prada jacket yeah. doesn't mean like okay. Um, I well I'll take that this. said. I this don't know if a, khakis are either. <laughs> yeah. But I would say that, you know, anything that's business related after the hours of 5 p.m. is business casual. So that's a good choice by Steve. Sure. Games are normally after 5 p.m. Guys, this is a good offer. Amp. Let's uh, just let's just talk about Steve's wardrobe. <laughs> just just step one step off the field. And well, the other coach is just right in a T-shirt. and Yeah. There are other coaches. <laughs> Their other coach is going to get a casual lunch in Los Feliz. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Yeah, uh, there attack. we go. Okay, let's let's get it out of there. Palacios is going to work hard today. You can already tell. I yeah. feel like he's generally like the hardest working man on the team, almost game in and game out. Okay, well, there we okay. go. Ooh, there we go. call that, call that, call that, call that. This ref Thank has. You. Wait, excuse me? 
Yeah, definitely not a foul. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Wait, he called that on Bawanga? No, he just didn't call a foul. Oh, he just didn't call anything? It was one of the things that Marco Garces told us in that podcast that we did as well. Is like, you got to deal with the referee because – you're not always going to get the calls. And as we talked about it being a smaller stadium, the fans are right on top of you. Like the referees are going to be a little bit persuaded by the home crowd. And that there's, wow. I think that's a case in point right there. Cause that's a foul. <laughs> yeah. That's another rule that we didn't know yet. You can just block a guy. <laughs> I love that. The dude behind Steve is in an Italy Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> he obviously wanted Giorgio to be there at the game. I also like they just made a big both... soccer fan in general. <laughs> Both coaches are forced to wear lanyards as if they're at a concert and they're in the on the crew. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna, put, convention. I'm gonna put this out to you guys in the chat as well. Are you allowed to wear a jersey of a team that is not playing in the match? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This to is a stadium. good. This is always a good discussion. I think it, I, I, the context matters. Like I'm not gonna go to a Laker game in a Clipper jersey. You know what I mean? Right. But you could wear. You could wear a. I don't know like, a Bucks jersey to a Lakers. What are you gonna fan? wear a no Knicks care. jersey? No. Eh. <laughs> well, because it's like a jersey. You put a jersey on. That's like a very enthusiastic and purposeful, prideful Ooh, Timothy. exclamation for that team. And it's just like, why? Why is that the statement you're making right now? <laughs> LAFC says, "Is it too late to fly in bail?" I don't know. We got Bowanga here pretty fast. He's out there hitting holes in ones, guys. He has—he's got a new lease on life. They just can't—they can't put more than a couple passes together. Matt says you're allowed to, but like I'll judge you. I think that's the right take. Yeah, that is probably yeah. But do it silently. Don't don't go up to these people. We don't need. We don't need. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, we need help. Come on. <gasps> no. <gasps> Great oh defense. my god. Oh my god. Yes. Oh the referee a... is calling zero. Wow. So we cannot Ilya putting his hand up hoping a foul was gonna be called there. He needs to not do that. Go it looked take... like there was wow. a little miscommunication. Yes. Oh ah. a little miscommunication between Did you see that was box that... out? That was amazing. He get... he look right there. He bought like an extra second for us. Mm -hmm. That was a great move. But he also didn't touch it. I don't like it felt like I guess I guess there's no goal, you know. I can't complain. <laughs> uh. The Bermix says Ilya's breath rights breathe right strip is elite. I agree. Do you it's a, um, it's a cool flex. <laughs> Joseph Angel Field says, "Scared my dog. Yelled really loud at that chance. I think he was talking about the, the uh, Bulanga pass." So, just quick question: How healthy is Kellen Acosta? <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, but right now, I, I don't know if it's personnel wise. It's like they're just not in the right positions, and then yeah. on top of it, it seems like. They're they're sent, they don't have enough pressure on the ball, so they're able to send runners at the back line. And every single one of those passes seem like they're connecting. Like every time a guy, every time a guy sprints towards our center backs, I'm terrified right yeah. now. We seem winded. Weirdly, they're just real fast. It is a little altitude there, I believe. Ooh, Although yeah. McCarthy bobbled oh. that. One. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. Great job, Ilya. I would say his hand was right on top of the ball, and generally you kind of get that one but yeah. Calf. yeah don't trust anything that this that this referee is doing right now so um this comment comes from lubed gorilla um the answer to the jersey question yes just as long as it's a european team can't be any other team for mls and vice versa Yes, lubed gorilla. I think that's a very good point, lubed gorilla. Lubed gorilla puts it well. So, so if I'm at that Lakers game and I wear a Barcelona <laughs> basketball jersey, yeah, that's good. fine. Yeah, got that's it. Fine. I think it's like the context of what team to wear stadium. Like, I, I feel like people you see like little kids in Warriors jerseys at a lot of games, mm -hmm. and that's annoying because you just like the Warriors because they've been good for the last few years. 
You baby. Stadium, stadium <laughs> does matter because I will say this: I grew up close to where the Anaheim Ducks play, and I would routine. I would go to a, quite a few games, and that is a place where you could see any and every NHL jersey that yes. you could ever imagine, and no one's ever going to say anything because they're like, "We're at a Ducks game." Yeah. Right. <laughs> But I'm, but I'm assuming if you go to see, let's say, the Toronto Maple Leafs, you will not be wearing a jersey other than a Toronto Maple Leafs jersey. Right, right, right. Anoush asks... Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, Matt oh. the comment says, nobody I trust more than a lubed gorilla, which I love because now we have people in the chat commenting, people in the YouTube chat commenting on people in the Twitch chat, which I think <laughs> we should have more of. If we can get the different people in the different chats chatting with each other. If we're somehow we bridge the divide between Twitch and YouTube before this is done, ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We, then we've done our. We've work. done something. Yeah, we've done something. I was about and to read a comment from a from a noosh that said, "Why is only our team slipping and not their team?" And then immediately, someone on their team slipped. Got it. That's fair. <laughs> Elion slip. Should we, should we take a drink every time there's a slip? <laughs> Oh, guys, I don't, I, I didn't uh, mention anything because I didn't want to scare anybody at the time, but there was like a little tremor here. And I just got a text from my significant other, and she said there was a little earthquake in Signal Hill. So, oh, history, history. Somehow I, I managed to get through a earthquake. But speaking of earthquakes, actually, this is that's a horrible. I'm sorry, Luke. I don't want to, I don't want to bring you in saying <laughs> speaking of earthquakes. Uh, we have a, we have a Pure guest power. here. I know. I try, I try. Luke, I'm sorry. I tried to segue. It's not going to work. But we have a guest here. You know him as LAFC Luke. Uh, he is the president of Pride Republic, as well as the host of the LBGT FC podcast. Luke, how are you? And are you as uh, anxious and nervous watching this game as we have been for the first 25 so-ish minutes? Uh, 100%. 100%. It is the dicey from the first minute. Luke, bring us Luke some positivity. Raveling. Yeah, bring us some positivity. Do you have anything? Do you have anything that maybe we haven't pointed out, or something that could soothe us? Or what do you got, man? Help, help us out. Uh, I think we're we're figuring out their style. We've not had a chance to see it because they've been in just like behind closed doors for several weeks. So you know, as they said at the start of the game, it's 180 minutes. There's no away goals. So, you know, we're only uh, 30 minutes in. We still got 150 minutes. That's, that's my okay. right there. Uh, yeah, you know what? That helps. Answer. That works. That was great. Thank you. Oh, yeah. We're that's okay. We're <laughs> Sorry. You made me feel good, and then I immediately got upset. <laughs> we've, Why? We've been a, we've been a mess. didn't get that shot on goal. Well, Apoku oh, didn't no. get a shot, and then it looked as if our players weren't around um, for hundreds of meters. <laughs> I feel like we just saw the first touches of Carlos uh, Vela, other than taking a corner all game. Yeah. Yeah, Vela's been Luke. Really visible. Yes, he's Travis. Luke, first of all, thank you for joining us. Um, second, yeah. you know, tell us about uh, Pride Republic and your podcast as well. Okay, sure. Yeah, Pride Republic. We are the LGBTQ supporter group. Um, oh, oh, God. Ah, okay. Okay. Just okay. for the historical record, a bad thing happened. I didn't grimace because of what he just said. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, you're going to, every answer you give, Luke, so, you're going to be going midway through, then something's going to happen, then you're going to have to pick up your thought. <laughs> oh, oh. So we're, huh. Pride Republic. Yeah, that's so tell us about your public. We are the, tell us about it, even though it's impossible to breathe LGBTQ, right now. LGBTQ, <laughs> huh, who, huh? We are the LGBTQ support group of uh, Los Angeles Football Club, and LGBTFC is a podcast that we started literally one year ago, Pride Month of last year, to tell the story of LGBTQ folks in the beautiful. Ooh, ooh Bulanga's asking. Recorded and posted our. Tw- uh oh. Oh no. What happened to Buanga? He he seemed like he was waving for the health folks. I don't like no, that. No, 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 no. No one likes that. Oh no. Uh, let's okay, let's let's again They scraped his shin. Oh. Do they have VAR? Yes. 
what happened. Yes. Oh. Ooh. Is that a red? I mean, that's that seems bird. like. I mean, that is that's an orange. That's an orange card. Orange card. No, that's that's <laughs> first. You gotta I mean, call that. You're the expert red. in this, Vin. That's. I mean, it's hard. So. Yeah, you get that high up with studs, you're always you're risk. Let's say this: you're risking a red, um, but generally, if there's no like thrust and he's just kind of raking down, you just get a yellow. But the fact that he did, wasn't able to be there to give him a yellow immediately, it worries me. Like again, I'm worried. I'm worried about this referee. He's not. He's not. Doesn't seem to have any kind of. This referee hasn't really impressed me yet. No, he's, he's not he doing no anything. Control. I'm gonna say. Okay, yellow. Oh, we gave a yellow. I mean, I think we were officially as a watch along gunning for a, an orange, right? Mm-hmm. We wanted orange. <laughs> Why didn't he get an orange? Oof. I, I will say the the only maybe positive is is because it's something like that. It's probably just a cut on Boanga, which yeah. thank God, uh, it's not something worse. It's painful, but put up yeah, that magic spray on it. Oh, cures it's cures numb. everything, Luke. Oof. A lot of red card emotes in the in have the you Twitch ever gotten that magic spray, Vince? I don't even know what that's like. I have, um, and I can I tell you the last time I had it, I had it. I somebody I had to have it on my knee, and I was like, yeah, "Okay, I'm good." And I must have touched my knee and then touched my eye. Do not get it in and around your eye because my <laughs> eye immediately went like, "Oh no!" Like, possible. Oh like, no. Sh- sh- oh. That for, for me, the closest story I can come to that is having caught a bunch of jalapenos and then <laughs> not washing my hands immediately after. <laughs> and I won't tell the rest of that story. <laughs> oh no, I think we can, I think we can fill in the blanks. Come on, there. Denny. Come on, yeah. Denny. <laughs> Just fill the blanks. Yeah. You can do it anymore. So, LGBTFC, uh, you can find it on social media. Yeah, yeah if you LGBT. can go back to your yeah. <laughs> FC pod. Thank you. <laughs> well, like you said, you, so you started it. LGBT underscore FC pod. Well, this is an important point. You started it and you're and now you're old because you started it for Pride Month and Pride Month I, starts tomorrow, correct? June is Pride Month. Am, right. I, am, am I correct in saying that? So June That's, is Pride we Month. What's so going on for Pride Month? Like what? Tell yeah. me more. Like what? I'm, I'm so glad you asked. So we're going to have an official pride watch party on saturday june 10th which uh you can get information out from your supporters group the supporters group will be sending out the information about that i imagine that lsd will be posting about it soon as well but that's why the game will be lsd head to houston and then the very next day on sunday june 11th we will be marching in the la pride parade which is always a blast if you cool. uh if you spend your 90 minutes in the in the north end uh, you can do three hours marching through the parade on an 80 degree sunny day. Well, who knows? Maybe it'll be 65 and gray the way the weather's yeah, been going. We, we haven't had many of those 80 degree days. Uh, it's a so. lot of fun to go march in the parade. No, no, it has not been. Yeah. And then the big LAFC pride match is Saturday, June 24th, when we welcome Vancouver to BMO Stadium and we'll be celebrating pride get there, get there. at home. So, oh, oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, 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 who's there? On, come on. Someone? Uh, oh, is, oh is Denny God. off the field? Is Denny off the field? There. There's literally no one on that side of the field. What was that? <laughs> That's the longest I think I've seen a ball run through a box and no one be anywhere near it. No, Denny was the one who headed it over. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Denny's. Oh, yeah, my he just God. Wasn't Look at that. Play. That's so much green. <sighs> well, it's it's. It's a bit. It's better. Uh, it's been better. No. <laughs> yeah. So so Pride match, Pride month. Yes, all those things. <laughs> um, Luke, I want to oh, ask you God. about one thing come on, come uh, on, come that on. that I think is really cool that happens yes. with the Pride Republic at each match at BMO is is the meetup at halftime. Um, I just yes, I just think that that's such a yes. cool cool idea. Can you kind of explain what that is because I just the chance to be able to, to meet people and, and be like-minded is something that we gather at the match for, but then you guys take it maybe like, a, I guess, a step forward at halftime. Yeah, I think part of that is because, frankly, traditionally for LGBTQ folks, they don't necessarily feel like 
uh, the north end would necessarily be a safe space for them. Obviously, that's not the case. Like, obviously, that is a very safe space for our LGBTQ community in, for the most part. However, for people who don't know that, for people who are coming to the first game or who who just come to the first year or second year or whatever coming to, to the stadium, they would probably going to be sitting somewhere else in the stadium. And so for us, it's our way of getting our supporters together in the middle of the match and just representing and just being there and showing how, you know showing our numbers and we do it every single home game it does not matter if there's only you know if it's a preseason or if it's a us open cup or whatever we are there and it's just, it's a lot of fun it's a great way to be there just to see folks meet up with folks there's usually not a lot of time to do it so mm-hmm. you hang out for a few minutes snap a photo and everyone back to their seats that's rad i yeah, didn't know so you did that uh, it's been a really fun you tradition that's program. awesome yeah, and it's always in the, the oh, yeah. north. And we welcome corner. everyone, by the way. You don't have to be LGBTQ. Mm-hmm. Always, I just yes, like being in photos, so I'll be there. Okay. The... Behind section 108 is, oh, perfect. as Luke said. So well, you can go there. We're putting some together here. This, is, this is for you, Travis. <laughs> Oof. Okay, oh, we're on, getting guys. some choice, some chances. <laughs> this, My yeah. man, C. Fuentes. Like I said, like I said, 180 minutes. You did. 180 yep, minutes. It's true. Oof. I mean, I, I look at this lineup and think our, our next game, injuries notwithstanding, we got Acosta to start and Murillo to start. And otherwise, it's the same It's the same group. Mm-hmm. And the 3252. Ooh. Right. Fair. Oh, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> He's like, that goes without saying. I, I, I'm fun. hoping that we get most of the rest of the stadium in on these cheers, too, y'all. <laughs> Yoni like Lotan in the people. in the chat says, "Leon coach looks like a guy waiting online at a club, <laughs> <laughs> and who knows if he'll get in? What kind of sneakers? Very anxiously on. too. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Skinner says, "Anyone else feel that momentum shift? I don't know. A, a little, little bit. bit. Luke, yeah. I feel like we've gone through." We've gone through all the emotions with you from being like the lowest of low to even lower thinking Denny might be injured to almost getting a goal. Like we've, so I, I think you've taken us through, through it all, which, which has been, definitely been helpful because we were pretty dour before you showed up. You can't be dour about this. You got to keep your spirits up y'all. Luke, Boy, you should have right? like, you you ragged on through just, this game. Yeah, Luke should have hosted this. We're, we're, we thought we thought we were going to be positive, and clearly we picked the wrong host. This like is like in tears in the twentieth yeah. minute. <laughs> You're Ooh. in tears. Okay, okay. No, we're just not used to losing, or even being down a goal. Oh, now I think it also happened so early in the oh, game. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come on, right, Sifu. Okay. We're, we're putting, we're, that was we're great. Some opportunities now. Come on, Opoku. I like the thought. Oh, I like the thought. Uh, I'm going to break my computer guys. chair, I think. I Chris Skill 9 says, is it just me or does this field, field seem huge? And I, there is something about the camera angle that is making the field look pretty big. It's a big field. There's also something about the way that we're playing right now that's making the field seem pretty. The big. match, the match itself is stretched. It's not tight. Teams are not playing in you know tight little spaces. It's there's room to run. It's yeah. oh, he got kicked in the head. There's been some afters. Oh, yes, he did. We're not in MLS anymore. Yeah. Well, <laughs> is that surprising though? No. This, I mean, look, that's this is. I mean, Vince, you would know. Is that surprising? No, and, and to be honest, this is one of the things that MLS teams had to learn. Like, you got to be a little down and dirty, like, to win these finals. And like, I don't love it necessarily, but I understand that, like, that's the that's the truth, and that's the case. Rancho says, "Cool, let's just kick people." <laughs> <laughs> cool, let's kick people. That's it. Does it does feel like we've had a couple of moments in the last like ten minutes where the last pass was just like. A few inches off, and we would have had a yeah, goal. Yeah, yeah. It feels I like we're, we're pulling some things together. We're we're calibrating. Yeah, I don't. I don't okay. hate that. Yeah, but I want more. This oh, is like the calibration oh. we should have been doing uh, at the very beginning of the game, and we're doing it. Referee's calling no fouls. At least he's not calling it against Blong either. Yeah, I was going to oh, say he better not have called a foul there after he didn't call oh, that man. one on. That should have gone for Blonga. Come on, Sifu, test. Okay. 
I like Ilya getting involved. <laughs> Hollings had okay. triple teamed. Triple oh, teamed Ryan, what are you out. doing, dude? All right. All right. Uh, uh, I want you to take that, Denny. Ah, uh, Denny. Okay, I'm feeling okay. good. All right, let's get let's get yeah, at least get a, let's, something let's get out this of this. Back. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's not gonna do it. Oof. That's not All right. it. That's so, I think play. we're we're a little that's bit eager play. right now, yeah. but I think that's what's necessary to kind of get us back into it. Right. Well, as we as we see out that attack, uh, Luke, let people know where they can follow Pride Republic and you uh, before before we let you out of here to to watch yeah. the game. And we're gonna we I'll tell you what before you go, we're gonna miss your positivity immediately. But go ahead and let people know where they can find you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is there a Luke button well, we can I push later Twitter in this? At LAFC Luke. Hey, anytime you just ping me, let me know. I'm at okay. LAFC Luke on Twitter. Uh, Pride Republic is at LAFC Pride Repub on Twitter and at LAFC Pride Republic on Instagram. And LGBTFC is at LGBT underscore FC pod, both on Twitter and Instagram. We had an episode we dropped today. That was pretty cool, including an interview with one of the sisters of Perpetual Indulgence to talk about the whole Dodgers thing. Oh, cool. And ha ha. And we have an interview dropping tomorrow with an MLS Apple TV broadcaster, former World Cup uh, competitor and Olympian. So we're bringing that we're bringing the heat for pride. So hit that subscribe button so you can make sure you don't miss an episode is what Luke's saying. That's right. And again, Luke, I'm going to thank you That's for being for being you. a literal breath of fresh air and, <laughs> and for keeping – because I don't think Travis was going to make it. I, Vince, I'm worried about him. You've said that enough times that I think you hate us. I like... – <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying it so much because I want to convince myself that it's going to be okay. But thank, thank you so much, Thank you, Luke. Vince. There goes Oof, LAFC I mean, Luke, Luke. And make sure you follow him and Pride Republic. Thank you, gents. And LBGT, LBGTQFC. Make sure you subscribe. And I will see, I'm sure I will see Travis and Darren another time when I'm driving home. No, uh, no, no. <laughs> hey, we're, we're doing a post game Bye. after this one still. So you're at home now. We'll see okay, you there. Okay, great. Bye. That's a good, that's a good place to remind everyone after the game, 10 minutes after the game, Darren and I over on our YouTube do a post game call in show. So if the score stays the same, you can call in and complain about what uh, you just heard and we could be cathartic. Good place together. to vent. And if, vent or uh, celebrate. Yeah. And it's just a big weird party where, we don't screen calls, which will eventually, I think, uh, come back to bite us <laughs> at some point. Make it tonight. Make this the, the time when we decide we have to start screening calls. <laughs> we are going to be black, blue, and gold by the end of this game. Is that yeah. a bad joke? Because, man, there's been a lot of guys that got kicked. I will say the ref seems to be throwing some cards finally. Yes. He was like, ah, we're almost at halftime. Yeah, he's like, I see. guess I have to, yeah. He's these animals out here just butchering <laughs> each other. Let's go. Uh, here, don't oh, give Danny yellow. yellow. Yep, no. yep. Remember, there's no natural center backs on the bench. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna channel I'm gonna channel my inner Luke. I'm, yes, I'm yes. Not, I'm not gonna do this anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna do this anymore. Luke has changed my mind. He's got he's brought positivity. He's right. Yeah. Look, I would say. To, to channel that a little bit, if it gets in 1-0 at halftime with the way that Steve's able to to redo things and talk to the team, I, I'm okay with that. I agree. I agree. I agree. I you know what? It's not it's not so out of out of the question to be down 1-0 at halftime. Like that's, that's not an insane thing. That's a normal thing. And yeah. we, I think we've brought the game back to a bit of equilibrium. Yeah. And I think uh, the energy... I say right before this hellish set piece that we're about to see <laughs> the energy we were feeling was because the goal came so early and there was like three almost mm -hmm. goals in a row but we've settled it a little bit yeah yeah okay i i just okay. now noticed that our patch is in fact in a similar placement as theirs it just like in the front of your armpit <laughs> tapped on the side <sighs> kanke half has to think about these things a lot of teams have patch sponsors where can we Figure out maybe like a back patch or something else uh, in another way. Maybe maybe the chat Con can design something. I'm sure there's a couple of graphic designers it's out there. Let's it's get on it. calf. It should be on the calf. A cummerbund. A cummerbund. <laughs> Where's the bow tie with the sponsor? Oh, that would be nice. Oh no. Ooh. Whew. Other silver lining. Their own, their biggest chances have only come off set pieces. So don't give yeah. up set pieces. Just don't give up set pieces. Yeah, two 
two corner kicks, two. That should have. Oh. Yeah, that should be two. Oh, it didn't even. It was off. An LAFC player. What? It looked like Hollings had stuck his hand out. Uh oh. Well, I don't like that because if it hit his hand. Hollings said he wants this kick to get off. Yeah, he's like, just kick it. No, don't. Oh, no. Ah, Drew Fisher, the bane of my existence. My least favorite MLS referee. (laughs) Oh, no. That's a I, header. But maybe maybe it hit the guy in the head. And maybe it yeah, just shouldn't have been a corner. Mm, or, guys. Maybe, or maybe it hit him in the maybe it hit That him looks in the like head. his head. It hit him in his head. It's not definitive, guys. But they gave a corner. So they have to say it's off Holling's head, right? Okay, this angle would actually probably be better. Oh, no, yeah. That's, that's his head. head. That's his shoulder. No, either way, no he, way. Headed, he heads it into his hand. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah, not, it, that's not the a force ball. that that ball goes off of is not a no. It doesn't touch his hand. That's almost the goal. At this kick. point, I'm I'm definitely gonna be upset if he calls this against him. The fact that he's taking so long is worrying me. Uh, Steve's reaction. I hope you saw great. that angle. Snap! That's a pen. Uh, oh my god! Welcome to Concacaf. That seems insane. Right at halftime. <sighs> That's the second time in the last oh. couple games. I really don't see how this replay shows that that's a hand. Like that, it does not touch his. It goes off of his hand, off of his head. His hand just happens to be like. I, I guess the only thing is like your hand is in an unnaturalish position. Uh, if you weren't tussling with somebody for for a corner, right? Like, yes, if if it was just me and you and he sends across, my hand shouldn't be like this. But, wow. Maybe we're just trying to really recreate the exact conditions of the last time we played Leon. Because <laughs> it just, yeah. it feels like it. Is it possible to get Luke back here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that Luke button request was real. <clears throat> oh, is that, is that, um, uh, Lemonade Gatorade or yeah, that's lemonade. Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe somebody had just a healthy serving of vitamins. Mm. All right, all right, John. All right, John. He's pretty good at these. Famously oh, thanks, so. John. Thanks, John. Spr- John Strong. He's never saved a penalty in Concacaf Champions League. Well, thanks a lot. <laughs> He's only faced one. It was against Alawente. All right. Guess right. John McCarthy, a better looking man than the penalty kick taker. He's already won on some level. (laughs) Oh. Oh. That was a good attempt by John McCarthy. Yeah, Yeah. and I don't even know if that's really safe. We'll have to see how into the corner it was, but I don't know how savable that even, I mean, there's a certain height that you get it where like, it's just impossible. Yeah. He really tucked that in, man. That what a tough half. I do have faith in what you said, Vince, which is that Steve's going to be able to adjust. That's a pretty shitty way to end a half, but I feel. Com- mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't get closer than that. Yeah, there's no, there's yeah, really no saving that. There's no saving that. Ooh, but he got close. Came close. Um, yeah, I mean, okay, so two nil halftime. There's going to be adjustments, so you, you would hope that that would obviously turn the actual game. But I mean, one of the things you got to start thinking about here is like stem the bleeding a little bit too like you can't it's it would be nice if yeah somehow they get it to two two or two one but like you definitely can't have it be three nil yeah you, you, like you just wow yeah that's not 
What? What? He dove. We're at the sixth minute. Let's see how this goes. I wish I would have seen more Carlos Vela on my screen. I'll tell you yeah. that much. Yeah. Yeah. You got to find more ways to find him. I mean, it's just, they haven't, they, again, the team hasn't been connected really, right? So, like, Carlos isn't going to thrive when you're sending balls forward and you're just trying to loop it and get out of pressure and hope that you can make something happen. That's a, that's a Mahala, that's a Bawanga thing. Like, Carlos needs a little bit of contained possession to really influence a game. And that's why we've seen him two, three times on the screen. Feels like we've played three minutes, huh? <laughs> right? Yeah, could we get a whistle here? <laughs> oh, there I thought he is. was calling a PK. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. All right. I, I don't feel – I weirdly feel okay. Because that PK yeah, you can't do anything about. It's just about. nice to have a reset. Yep. Yeah. We've scored two goals and a half before. That's not a big deal. Um. Uh, so uh, let's let's put our uh, coach's hat on. You, uh, the guys walking at halftime. What was the first thing you guys would say to him? Well, shit, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I like that Steve became like Foghorn and Leghorn. <laughs> well, I'll be. <laughs> um, can we get a I, can we get a pulse check in the chat too? Everyone in the chat, like just yeah, how you doing? A bunch of emojis or any any way yeah, you how's everybody express, doing? Let's express your mental mood right now. Just go ahead and just pillar uh, Travis and Darren with them in the chat. <laughs> Use us as your punching bags. Whatever you got to do. Oh, yeah, Darren, I, are you go are you feeling like are you feeling as confident? Because Travis says he's oddly confident. You know what? I think I think we really just needed this reset. I think we're going to come out guns blazing in the second half. And uh, I, I think we just got to establish a different game. Yeah, I mean, you have to find and then a if way. We can, if we can set that up, then it's in that different game. And two goals is not the end of the world. We can, we can score two goals. I'm okay with it. We can score two goals. Uh, and like I said, the adjustments that obviously Steve makes and the team has made throughout – his tenure have been very good. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll rely on that. Vince, you're the smart one. What adjustments sh should we be making? <sighs> I mean, it, it doesn't feel like a tactical thing. It feels like a, just guys, you got to start running a little more. You got to start getting a little tighter. You got to, the pressure that you're getting on the, the opponent is not good enough and it's allowing them to dictate play. And, and then when you are getting on the ball, we're, we're not really finding outlets uh, to hold the ball. We're trying to, you know, go forward as quick as you can. And look, that's understandable, right? You're down two goals or even when you were down one goal, you're like a little stressed and you want to get forward. You want to get goals, but I, I, you know, I will actually defer to a, a guest that we're going to have on here in just a moment. Who's going to give us, give, give us, and actually he's ready now. Uh, we are joined by LAFC legend and assistant technical director, Jordan Harvey, and Jordan, we have just done our best job to be um, uh, tactical managers or, or, you know, technical guys like yourself. Um, you tell us, how, how close did we get it? And then <laughs> school us and tell us exactly what we actually should be saying after that, that half. Man, it's a, obviously a disappointing start. So that sets the tone coming off of a set piece, but... They come out firing, not that that was any surprise. Um, and I, I felt that the team after the goal started to work their way back in, but then there were still chances that were given up. We haven't had uh, a great chance. They probably had a few. And then the penalty at the end, it's just like, oh, fuck. I don't know if I can cuss on here. Yes, <laughs> but I was so – because he shaking his head. Um, <laughs> Yes, I can. Okay, great. We actually uh, only instituted it because of the way LAC is playing, dude. Because I thought we were just getting. Yeah, just I thought it got into half on zero. I think could really just gap time, organize, uh, refocus, and go into the second half um, with kind of a renewed sense of uh, optimism, right? 
two zero down, it makes it that much harder. And not that this group will shy away from it. Uh, they're an experienced group, been been in tough moments. Obviously, um, going back to MLS Cup as the example. Um, there are some guys out that I'm sure we'll see in uh, Steve Bay or um, Abogush, and hopefully they bring a little bit something different that might help with this. Um, but yeah, it's a chippy game. They scored the first goal, just started. It became chippy. We were good in a low, mid to low block. We were kind of solid there um, in moments, but yeah, it's coming down to this individual moments that they're beating us. Uh, I think if you broke it down into uh, just each individual winning their battles, I think they're winning more than us, and that's what it's coming down to. Yeah, I, I think like watching it, it feels more painful. Have you guys? Because, yeah, I can. Can you hear us? Can you guys hear me? Am I gone? No, you're, you're, I can you're hear having you. a little bit of, a bit of a on, delay on your end, Jordan, but we, we got you. I was just going to say the effort thing is making it a hard game to watch. It's like, it's tough to see your guys be um, uh, beaten for every loose ball it's not a fun i'm so used to seeing lafc dominant in in those moments that it's it's um it's tough as a fan to to like feel i like you can see where the build-up's coming and then we one slightly off pass and the ball's back to to leon yeah the, i think they're breaking i think they're breaking the rhythm though because when we do win the ball or when we're going to make a pass there's just always somebody there to nick you to foul you to uh, just get in your face, and with every foul, it throws the rhythm off. So we've gotten into the game as far as the sustained amount of possession in the opponent's half. I think you'll absolutely see that in half. But you're right; it's I don't beating us every ball, but they're they they. It seems that they want it just that that little more. So even if they're not getting there, at least getting a piece of the game. Yeah. And again, it's it's two goals, one a set piece, one off of uh, the handball. I just, man, again, I just wish we could have came into the half 1-0 because I think we could have built off of, you know, what we did wrong in that half. And we're still going to have to, and and I think we'll be all right this half. And obviously we've been in Lyon 2-0 down. And, and well, uh, I've played in the games and – these teams, it's crazy, and I don't understand it. I don't know if it's a mindset. It has to be, but at home, they're just world beaters. And then away from home, and that's where the second lick comes in is managing us so it doesn't get out of hand. Um, they're a different team. They sit back. They're more passive, and it's just a completely different game. And that's not just from LAFC. When I was in Vancouver and we played Tigres with Gignac and all these guys, um, it was the same exact thing. And so it's just strange how Mexican teams come in. And it's not that like LAFC, we're, 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 we seem passive now. It's not uh, as far as the game plan. Oh, I think we're, I think, I think we're having, losing, yeah. I think we're having a little technical difficulties with you, Jordan, but we do want to thank you for uh, schooling us on what how like how this game's going because we're we were just we've just been a puddle here we've just been a, basically a mess <laughs> uh uh we'll we'll, we'll let you go because we're, we're having just a little connection errors but jordan thank you so much we love you so we love you lafc legend i actually like that you've gone back to the we have a similar haircut again appreciate that um maybe i'll get a few more jordan harvey compliments but uh you're the best dude jordan nice to meet you i'm a big fan nice there to finally go. meet you there he goes same here. Thanks for being part of this. Uh, it's, I mean, I, we were saying those things, just not as professionally um, yeah. and as smartly as Jordan was, <laughs> I think. And uh, the tone in which he said it, he just sounded smart. I think we all it knew was, it. It was very comforting to hear. We, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Darren. It was comforting to hear. I was going to say it was very comforting to, to, to yeah. get the, to get, I just need more info. Just, just wash the info over me. Yeah, no, it, I mean, it's, I think what it is, is, uh, you know, we're, we're watching this game and I, I don't, um, 
this is hard for me to say because I'm one of those people. I didn't play the game at the highest level, but that's where Jordan has that little bit of extra expertise and, and know-how. Like when he says, when we say, oh, it just seems this and this, he's like, yeah, but the rhythm's being broken up and they're fouling him and that sucks. And, and like, he knows that feeling. Like he's literally been there yeah. in that moment and been like, I hate it when this happens and why are they doing this? So I think that's so right. Um, that it, having his perspective is just, it. that's why it's valuable. And I appreciate him coming on. We just had a little bit of technical errors. Um, uh, there's a good uh, specific question that Spencer Porter in the chat earlier said it's a handball but what is our defensive marking scheme on that corner Hollingshead is covering strange territory there as well, we see it on the screen yeah you're I mean you're always so LAFC is always going to have a mix of zonal and um, man-to-man marking and I think in that moment Ryan is man-to-man but then like like we said with the first corner kick goal like the the Leon players are going to be trying to like, uh, it's almost becomes basketball set picks and chip you and move you and get you off balance. And so Ryan just gets, he's more or less in the kind of right spot, but he's, uh, you know, he's tight to his man, but he's just a little bit off. He's a little bit off balance. And in that moment, his hand gets up and uh, you know, we can debate on whether or not that should be a handball, but anytime your hand is above your shoulder, um yeah you know you you kind of you're you're really risking it so uh like jordan said it's it's a killer um and so that's got to be i think that's got to be when when steve gets in there there's got to be priority number one is just to like calm the guys down and go guys look i know you thought you were getting in here at one nil um but everything that could have possibly gone wrong pretty much has in that half so maybe we just let it go and we start from scratch and we try to build up from there because guys we can't we're not going to get two goals in one play um, and we're also not going to be able to take back the fact that we're not happy about a VAR call or a penalty or whatever. So I think they just got to um, – I want to lean on Jordan again. They've had adversity. That MLS Cup, most of those guys played through. Uh, they – you know, I, I would assume that that, all, that that doesn't even need to be said, but maybe that is something that Steve says. He's like, yeah, guys, you've been here before. Like, And this is technically only a quarter of the way through, right? We're not even at halftime um, of the contest as a whole. So – we haven't played I mean, that card yet, but it's time. <laughs> we have we have another game. Something that I I feel like I, I we know our team can play better than this, and like we have a lot of right. time to go. So knowing what we know about this team, it doesn't seem like they are beating us. It seems like we need to kick it into the gear that we know that we can hit it. Like we're we're just. Um, the effort isn't there. And once we put that effort in and we run a little harder and we're okay with getting hurt, uh, I think we might be able to pull one back. I think we're going to pull one back this half. I feel, I trust Steve a lot in these situations. Um, and it's a bummer about that PK. I feel a lot better if we were down uh, one zero, but I think leaving two to one, we're not going to feel, that's my prediction now is we're leaving two to one. Two to one. <laughs> I take it if on Darren, you if I told you right yeah. now the score would be two to one, like just take it, take it or leave it. Look, Could going into it? BMO, going into BMO down one, I'll take that handicap for them, please. Yeah, I will. I think I well, yeah, no, I think I'd take two to one the way it's been going. I, I like this, I'd like to think that I'm the ultimate optimist and be like, no, nah, man, we make it two to two. I totally, honestly, I do think they can come back in this game. I, I do think they can, and I. Okay. I won't be like, uh, we just need to see a different flavor coming in the second half. And I think as long as they establish the game more on their terms, mm -hmm. uh, they can they can totally come back. It was interesting to me that Jordan said he thought we would see some um, changes, like Stipe and, and Bogush. I, I, don't, I don't want to go against what... what at halftime, you think? I don't think it would be... Steve rarely makes a sub right at halftime. Um, yeah. But I, I, I'm saying that because I was like, I don't, I mean, they're not playing well, but I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I, maybe, maybe he knows a little more than we do in terms of uh, fatigue and or whatever is going on with the team. But I, I, I mean, I just, I feel like the team that's on the field that can do it. Um, it's just a matter of motivating them and yep. getting them in the right spots. How, Agreed. How's the chat doing? Are they? Um, Exo from hell, another great name, almost as good as lubed gorilla, uh, says, I, I still believe it's an even ball game. Leon has played horrible whenever they play away games this season. Best thing to do right now is defend and at least make one. And we play incredibly at home. Uh, I do feel confident 
that we can beat them at home. So being one goal down will feel a lot different leaving this stadium than two or three, dare I say, uh, going out of there. Um, also in the chat, uh, the, the Brimick says, Jordan doesn't know ball like you. And I got to agree. The three of us, much smarter than a man who does this profession. <laughs> <laughs> the, the assistant technical director of LAFC. <laughs> of the MLS Cup champion. Um, Technocrat says Palacios has been stellar highlight for sure. I agree with that. Palacios has been strong. He's been tested a lot. And uh, Conover, Adam Conover in the chat says, hey, guys, maybe we can chat with him later. That might be fun. Um, That'd be great. Uh, David Day says Leon plays with intensity and headiness. Uh, I don't know what headiness means, but I agree they play with intensity. I like it, though. Yeah. But that's a word that I'm going to start in inserting into my takeaways. <laughs> Um, okay, we're about to come back. Yes, we're about to kick off All the right. second half. Um, I like the shout for Palacios. Anyone else have any players that they think particularly they want to point out? I, I'm not John McCarthy, or maybe. Va Just if I get to turn goals. it on. Yeah. Yeah, McCarthy's been good. And also, uh, Buanga, while we haven't seen many chances, we've seen that he's been able to outrun their back line if we can get him the ball. Yeah, if we can yep. get the ball on his feet and the referee understands that, you know, when the guy. Oh. <laughs> Immediately they have a set piece. <laughs> Great. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling good. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to come back a whole new man. <laughs> Why didn't you pee at halftime like normal people? We were. I'm too nervous. <laughs> I can't get up. His brain's not functioning. He was like, Vince can't do it on his own. That's I can't go at the same time as Trav. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine? It's just me staring at the camera <laughs> like a deer in the headlights. All right. I'm confident. We'll be fine. They know what they're doing. Rancho says, I think the refs have been playing great for Leon. You know, I'm always hesitant to go after the refs because I feel like everyone hates the refs. But they haven't been very good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I'm the same. People, when I like write takeaways, they're like, oh, oh I'm, I'm kind of glad you don't talk about the refs. I'm like, because really you could talk about them every game if you yeah. wanted to. Um, it's got to be super egregious. I just, I just think he call, called it very, very loose and then decided, eh, let's start giving out yellow cards, which it seems to be like the way that referees call the modern game. I don't, it's like, don't, don't call it in different ways in different parts of the game. Like if a foul's a foul, this is a yellow card, but Hey, I'm not, I'm not the one out there, I guess. Yeah. Tomato says, I feel like Ilya has saved our butts a few times. Just wish he'll be able to play the way he usually does in the second half, bring calm to the team. I don't disagree. I was actually about to say, if I had one of those breathe right strips that somewhere in my house, I would have put one on at halftime as like a sign of a solidarity with Ilya to like, let's go. Oh, David Day says headiness means awareness, anticipates things. That's true. They've been a step ahead of us the whole time, but now we're on a break Love and it. they immediately close it down and we go backwards. <laughs> well, to the point that we, we said about LFC, like they're running. Like they yeah. are not, they are running on every play. They're running out there, you know, and it's not that LAFC is not trying. It's just, it's, I it's think what it is, again, it's when you kind of get punched, like you have to, you have to have like this willingness, like it's not even a switch. Like it just, you do it automatically. And now they're having to be like, oh shit, I got to run. Like yeah. I got to go. And you're just a second behind. Whereas Leon's just, they're anticipating. Yeah. It seems like they, I mean, you can tell that they've spent a month thinking about this game. Mm -hmm. Um, and we've had a few other things on our brains. It It's, I mean, I'm liking how much we're closing down already, though. Our pressure's already stronger yes. so far. We're going to, yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay, Ryan. Ooh. Now we are doing play-by-play. -play. I'm just. <laughs> well, I was about to say. All right, guys, I'm in Ryan. second half form now. Ryan's low-key saucy. He's like uh, that guy that, like, white dude shows up to your like pickup basketball game. You're like, uh, what is this guy got? And then he starts pulling like Allen Iverson crossovers and like, and wanting people. And you're like, all right, what? Like I still, his PK in the uh, MLS cup is still like the coolest penalty. Like he literally just like walked up, dispensed with it and was like, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. It was awesome. I'm a, I'm a defender. <laughs> yeah. I, I can I can only hope to ever do anything in my life that coolly and calmly as he did. Like he it, it was the equivalent of like the guy in the 80s movie that then puts on his his Ray-Bans and was like I'm the man. Yeah. 
I think him and Tillman both have uh, some footwork that they like to show off. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, drag backs and things like that. Um, William Stokes says second half form means Darren just chugged a cocktail off camera. He's allowed to chug one on camera. I don't know why he'd need to do (laughs) unless he was using illicit drugs. Uh, That's what I was going to say. The illicit drugs are what's (laughs) off camera. That's the only request we've gotten from LAFC. Yeah. You can say anything you want, but if you're going to do hard did, drugs, do it just off camera. <laughs> <laughs> I did turn my video and audio off. Yeah, so what are we talking? Uh, uh, opioids or barbiturates? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of those what, things sound really fun in the what, middle what of a What point are we at in this game that we're just talking oh. about? <laughs> just talking about okay, we got to build up. Worst drugs. Okay, okay. Is he on? Yeah, yeah he's he, on. He looks good. Oh. Okay, okay. We got to we'll put stuff together. We already look better this half. We already look better this half. Yep. The fact that we got the ball with control into their box is a good start. Yeah. Steve's Steve's crushing that water. (laughs) Jivin818 says LAFC should just abuse Leon's weaknesses of fast, short pressing and keep a narrow, low defending block with wide possession play. Vince, is that something that makes sense? I don't know. I mean, that was strangely super coherent and yeah. very professional and i appreciate that um it's it's a comment you're supposed to say poggers i think i do i mean look with what <laughs> with what they're saying in in the instance of like they're pressing in tight little bursts like yeah if we can get some if we can string some passes together which is a common um thing that steve will say after games is like hey when we strung passes together when we actually could like here comes play the, the ball oh, okay see well yeah. But he's okay. right. If you can you can string a little pass together and make them chase because they they're gonna chase, um, then you can move you can move them at your will. But we haven't been able to really do do that. Um, that's just a bad <laughs> angle. Well, we get a corner though. Well, yeah, just it's doing just best not, to draw a foul there. It's just not sharp, and I I, I hate saying that because I feel like it's one of my most used um, things when I talk about games. But like that's how games like. This is a low scoring sport. And honestly, a lot of it just comes down to who's just a little bit sharper in the right moments. Um, and like, I don't know. There's no way to coach that. It just kind of happens. <laughs> Tomato okay. in, the, in the chat says stringing passes together do be kind of poggers. <laughs> 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 I think that's a front runner for, for, for those of oh, you who don't know, Poggers is a Twitch thing that means play of the game that became Poggers, that became a running joke where people just say it constantly. For, for those of you who don't know. I want to name my takeaways Poggers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got uh, the Brimick. You tell us, is it the Brimick or the Brimich? Uh, at Vince, which LAFC players could you take in an MMA, MMA match? Ooh, a du- Dwayne, yes. <laughs> i love that so confident but also dude, like the easiest uh he oh uh, who's the youngest i, I, I will a, i will child? say i did probably one of his like first <laughs> interviews even before he was like a professional and like i do have a, like a good relationship with him so i think even he would think that would be a little funny and then he'd probably turn to me and be like no dude i'm a man now and i could beat your ass <laughs> um, so what you're saying is you you chatted with a small child <laughs> you're saying <laughs> Well, Travis, when you get to this age and you win sports, at a certain point, you find out that you're really just all chatting with children, and that's yes. your whole profession. And that's okay, kind of hold on, hold on, thing. Vela. Oh, mm. No, he didn't. Vela lives. Even Vela he lives. Didn't, even he didn't look sure of that. One. I could beat up Stepe Buke. I feel confident Please I could beat awake. up Stepe Buke. Oh man, I don't know, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm saying it on the record, Stepe. I'll fight. <laughs> somebody clip that and i will bring it to training yeah oh just... god no. <laughs> oh, no i think everyone in everyone in croatia could beat me up <laughs> yeah. well guys we have another guest and as much as i've enjoyed being the host and bringing in all our guests i feel like travis you should intro this next guest and let us know who has joined us well, um, I want to welcome to the show a very good friend of mine, a man who um, I once brought to a playoff MLS game, and I had to ask him to stop talking to me because I was too sad because we had lost in the playoffs. But he's since become an LAFC season ticket holder. My good friend, King of the Strike, Adam Conover. Welcome, Adam. Hello. Am I visible? Am I audible? I yes. think so. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. 
Welcome. But please, please do keep your hands above board at all times, just to I am, just to be sure. <laughs> I'm on strike, just so everyone knows. I'm not writing. I'm not writing. <laughs> see, no typing. I don't see a pencil in either hand. <laughs> Ooh, is McCarthy down? Yes. Oh, but oh boy, he seems that seems okay. Yeah, he's mess. He's just messing around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a Philly. That's totally a Philly thing. That's a Philly thing. Adam, yeah. have you been enjoying this game as much as we have? I mean, uh, I've been watching it with my girlfriend, Lisa. She was she was watching it, and uh, uh, her commentary is very funny. Her bit was every time we actually got possession and started putting to, putting it together, she would go, okay, ladies, now let's get in for – never mind. <laughs> and she, did, she got to do that bit three times <laughs> where, where her cringe Taylor Swift – wait, Beyonce, excuse me. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> got uh got got interrupted by our by our immediately giving the ball up so uh so that that part of it was fun yeah um it's a little it's a little stressful um you know i'm going to this game i'm going to the second leg uh this weekend um and my dad's in town i'm gonna take my dad to his first ever mls game and i was gonna be excited to show off the atmosphere and the stadium and a big and a big win i was like oh this will be emotional to go with my dad and uh, I uh, just hope it's still uh, fun. Hey, last time, <laughs> last time that happened, we were down 2-0 against Lyon, and we had the biggest win we've ever had. True. So you might and, get to witness that with your father. And one of the best ex sports experiences of, of my life was I was actually in Mexico for, for uh, a friend's wedding, and I was, like, following it on my phone and going, ah! ah! <laughs> you know, and, Wait, uh, weren't you weren't you in Philadelphia during MLS Cup? Like, how are I you? Was. How are you I always was. at the location of the opponent in the biggest moments of LAFC history? That's a hundred percent true. I always am. Um, and that was hell. I was I hated myself for being in Philadelphia. Um, I was performing stand up comedy just because you were in job. Philadelphia because you and had I to love. perform stand up comedy in Philadelphia, right? Not anything to do with an MLS Cup game. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, Phil Philadelphia is a wonderful city. A uh, big fan of the city. Uh, no, don't begrudge them anything. Um, but yeah, it was it was torture to have gone. I went to almost every single game, home game that year, and to not be in the stadium and to hear all the stories and everything, you know, about about the Mana song and all that shit. I was I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm missing. Oh. But anyway, I, I've made my peace with it. Uh, and what's going to happen is we're gonna we're gonna go this weekend. I'm gonna go in person, and we're gonna have an amazing comeback that I'm gonna watch in person with my dad. And that's, that's right. going to make up for all lost opportunities in the past. That's right. Uh, that got that got oddly that took a little turn at the very end. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was just about to say, I was like, yes, we've got another very very positive guest, and then a little <laughs> just. Like, <laughs> wait, could I actually? I've told this story before. I don't, and if you any of you guys have heard it, because I've told it on the podcast, I think, or someone's podcast, uh, it's about Max Bredos, my good friend Max Bredos, and it's about that Leon game. We got to watch that Leon game when I still worked for LFC. We got to watch it. Actually, Travis, you'll know this. We got to watch it in one of those rooms where you did the last Happy Foot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was great because as you told, were told when you came to the press box, there's no cheering. Um, so normally you're not allowed to cheer, but guess what? All rules are off when you're in that room. So we were going yeah. bananas. You don't want to know what I've done in those rooms. But at one point, Max, <laughs> Mac, oh, no. Oh, oh great. Jonathan. Oh, God. Jonathan. Oh, God. Jonathan. <laughs> oh, Woo. it was it was oddly not a moment unlike this uh, when it was 2-2 and it was the height of like everybody's anxiety and, and just peak. Max goes and just goes, F it. I got to take my clothes off. And we were like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and he literally starts to remove his jacket. I actually physically like grabbed him thinking and he goes, I wasn't, I wasn't. I'm like, I don't know, man. I, if, if you really were, that was the best acting job I've ever seen. But I like telling that story because I love my boy, Max. He's the best. I just want to say John McCarthy's the best. If it wasn't for John McCarthy, yeah. this score would be a lot yep. worse right now. Take back everything I said about Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Uh, Rancho says, I'm here for Adam Conover, a.k.a. Stunk Bug. I don't know what that means. Who's Stunk Bug? That is a character I played on Emily Axford's D&D podcast. Oh, Whoa. right. Yes. Yeah. It was a half orc who talked like Fraser Crane from the show <laughs> Fraser. He was a smart orc. That was the character. I yeah. love it. He was like, oh, some ruffians. Adam, I, I'm sure you probably told this story before, but how did you become an LAFC fan? It's entirely Travis. In fact, to the extent that I feel 
almost like pathetic being here. Like I'm like, I fell for his cheap trip. Like I'm <laughs> like, I came, like I showed up wearing a shirt with his face on it. And like, I, and I just pay him like $10 a day. Cause I love him so much. That, that, that's how much of a fucking Mark I feel like. No, I mean, I, uh, Travis, Travis. So Travis and I used to work together and Travis came into our office wearing LAFC gear before a game had been played. And I was like, where, how, how did, what, you know? Mm-hmm. And so then we, he took me to a game in year one or year two. And I, and after going to a couple, I was just like, oh, this is just the best uh, live sports experience um, I've ever been to. And so, you know, it's just, uh, and I got into it for, I had no particular interest in soccer. I just like, was like, oh, the actual presentation experience of being at the game was, was what hooked me in and got me, made me a fan. Um, and I've since caught, caught very quickly up to speed. Travis, the gateway drug. Yeah, Travis, I, truly the gateway drug. <laughs> I mean, that's partly why we started our podcast too. Is like I wanted to be a place that's like an easy on ramp for people that when they go to a game and they're like, "Hey, this is a cool thing that I'm." Uh, oh, Stipe on for a poku. Um, like you can easily learn about the storylines of the team without having to know everything you need to know about soccer. Um, oh man, all of our passes are just like every everything is like an inch off. Uh, like like. Like I said, it's sharpness. Like yeah. it's it's such a cliche, like easy out, but it really is. Plenty in for Hollingshead too. Yeah. Um, no, it was fun going to those games with you, Adam, because I got to watch you. Uh, you know, realize how special this is, and then and then you know, fall yourself down the rabbit hole of yeah, of, uh, the black Look, and there's... gold. If there's something good, I want to be in on it. I was like, yeah. hold on a second, something is <laughs> happening here. I got to understand this without you know what me. I mean? <laughs> and I also like learning about the main way I engage with sports is by learning about them and learning the strategy and the history and all that sort of thing. So I was like, Oh, here's a whole little world for me to spend a couple of years, you know, diving into. And that's the, that's sort of what sucked me into it. Yeah. Um, oh, and also the, the fact that, you know, I think the one I first started going to games, we were the best team in the history of the league until, <laughs> a, until a historic choke. Well, that's a great storyline. We sorry to talk no, the, during this. That. This is the this is the gig today. Yeah. You you talk and then you go ah and you go ah, let me pick up my story. Uh... <laughs> it, it is like it's it's funny to do this while there's so many things that are making me anxious because it like you want to bring levity to it, but then the, before you're finished with a sentence, you're uh, screaming on the inside. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. I actually champion these. Like, I'm like, hey, we should be doing more of these. And now having done another one again, I'm like, why would we ever do this again? <laughs> I'm having fun, despite no, the game really making fun. me feel I really bad. love this. I know. I love Hey, I enjoy the company that I'm with, but this has just been excruciating. Rancho well, says I hope that- Vince is drinking straight vodka in a bottle. <laughs> is that true? Uh-oh. An LAFC bottle. Just <laughs> Pure skill says this is listening- fun, Vince. If for anybody watching or listening, I hope that just having more people in your home with you is is in some way helping get through this. <laughs> Adam, I think it would be for me. Adam, talk to us a little bit about the strike and, and what you've been doing and, and uh, how you've been handling it and stuff like that. <laughs> well, that, are we conceding the game? Is it is it the part where we just start telling stories? Like, no, I... Well, we're not here to do play by play. We're here to talk and just well, random yeah. stuff. And, and we the said it's up by 30 points and the, the commentators just start talking about <laughs> stories from college. That's that's the part of the game. It is. We were um, talking about having a, a LAFC meetup on a picket line. Maybe we'll get some drums and stuff. That would be fun. that would that would be sick. A 32 52 beat up on the picket line. I mean, I'll tell you something. I ran the L.A. Marathon uh, last year and there's the 32 52 had a cheering section. It was the best one. And it was fucking awesome to be like, oh, there they are. You know what I mean? Like to have that presence. So I think 3252 completely should come to the picket line. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, things are going great. We've been, it's uh, started start of week five out. Uh, we're, we've been on strike, uh, f- striking for fair wages and working conditions in the entertainment industry. Um, and I uh, got a huge amount of solidarity from other unions around town. P- writers are still out there every day on the picket line. Um, companies are hurting. Production is shutting down all over the place. And, uh, you know, we're going to we're going to remind them they much like MLS needs the players. The entertainment industry needs the writers. That's right. Palacios with a rocket that was almost caught by a woman in the state. 
Oh, get there. Steve Bay. Yes, go, go, go. Steve Bay. Yes. Steve Bay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. The, worst on it. the worst oh. feeling for a soccer player has to be when you do this, you cut it back, then you hit the you shot, it, and then and you then look you up, go. and three of your teammates are going, <laughs> oh, no. yeah. hey, could you have just – it maybe if you just played it to me, I could just kick it in because I'm towards the center of the goal. Yeah, and that's like the easiest spot to score from. Mm. Yeah, and there's no one over here. The goalie's where you are, sir. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Getting a shot off at this point is is helpful. Somebody somebody's asking if elevation is a factor. We've heard that a few times. I mean, it does seem like we're getting gas, doesn't it? Yes, it does. But keep in mind we play every three days from here to eternity. Right. So like these guys have yeah. put a lot of miles on their legs. There is some elevation there. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can pull up on the, is, uh, on the old computer. The other thing see. Lisa said, she said they haven't had time to acclimate. That's not fair. Mm -hmm. That's right. We, we should have been there two weeks ago. We just went to Colorado for a week and it took us that much time to just get used to it, you know, but here's the thing. Okay. Next week, How much time they're going to have to come down. And they're going to be lower elevation, and that's going to make them stronger. So we'll see how <laughs> things go. <laughs> so, yeah, take that, Leon. See how you deal with that. <laughs> they're like, they're like uh, marathon runners who train at high elevation. Like, mm -hmm. it's, there's, it's only an advantage. Yeah, they're taking the donut off their baseball bat and coming to play. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. is an adjustment, technically. Phoenix lore so. is right. We just need one goal. If we can come away with this with a one goal deficit, this is going to feel a yes. lot different. It'll feel like Correct. a win. Who got the yellow weird, there? Can we just really get them way. some more yellow cards too? Like, let's just get them in trouble. Let's, yeah. A um, double yellow would be helpful at this point, right? Leon is nearly six thousand feet above sea level. Oh, that's pretty high. Yeah. Yeah. Oscar says three, two, five, two picket line for the writers. I'm there. I think we can organize it. We'll run it up the chain. That'd be a, that'd be great. That would be so fucking sick. Uh, DM the, uh, uh, the, the tigers of the North end guy. Oh yeah. 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 We can figure that out. Yeah. Um, Tigres del Norte. Yes. Thank you. I, I didn't want to hazard the, you know, so I did a little back in and forth translation. Totally fair. <laughs> The number of people who gave me shit for how I pronounce Leon on the match preview um, has made me feel humiliated for the rest of my life. <laughs> Which, <laughs> Vince I even explained it to me beforehand in my, our interview, and I still did it the wrong way. Well, you and Darren have recorded your part before my part, yeah. right? So I couldn't, couldn't save you there, but That's yeah. true. That's true. Is it okay if I descend a little bit into my only subject I enjoy in talking about soccer, which is discussing the uniforms? Yes, you better believe it. Oh God, yes! I really like Leon's, here. I really like Leon's uniform. I like the, I like the color. I like the pattern. I wish it wasn't covered. Oh, I wish it wasn't covered in ads. Like, mm -hmm. but you know that is what it is. It's like when you look past the 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 very bold, bold black ads and you see the lovely sort of lion pattern. Mm -hmm. It's very beautiful. I think. That does seem to be pretty common in Liga MX, like particularly good kits with a, a lot of ads covering them, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a kit maker. We won't say their name because they're not a sponsor of uh, MLS and or AFC that uh, makes a lot of these <laughs> kits. Uh, but Darren, you are correct. Uh, Liga MX does have uh, a history of very cool, colorful kits. And uh, if you are someone like Adam that wants a way into Liga MX, maybe kits is the way for you. I actually have a Pachuca kit. Uh, that is made by the same manufacturer and it's uh it's like a teal and hot pink and it's pretty rad Ooh, Ilya mm. coming off the midfield moving maddie bogus uh and they're changing some stuff around so it looks like we're pushing to get a goal here yeah i'll say this is not a defensive mood yeah move. uh i would think right. that tillman <laughs> is gonna probably play more in Ilya's position and bogus is gonna be kind of like a free midfielder kind of like a Sifu-esque person. So yeah, they're going for they're Come they on, want Maddie. that two to one as well, maybe even two to two. Yeah, taking Ilya off is a risk. Two two. Well, I mean, we've been we've been gabbing here, guys, but can you remember very many Leon opportunities in the second half? I mean, it's as much we're, as LAFC hasn't been together. able to find much, we've been controlling the game a lot better. For sure. I will say minute 45 to minute 60, Ooh, 69 has, has gone pretty quickly, which I don't love. They look, I mean, 
they, you can see now they have like one outlet. It's like they've they've decided that two nil might be a nice scoreline for them too. What? The guy just got hit in the wow. face. Wow! Just a whole no oh, call no. situation again. If that ended in a goal, I would have been furious. Holy shit! The, Did he just hit him in the face? He hit like, him in what, the face. What, what the hell just happened? There's players fall. There's bodies falling everywhere around the pitch right now. There goes another oh, one. Oh, can we can we get a foul, okay. please? He's like third time. I think the problem is there's a lot of bureaucracy. You got to file a lot of paperwork to get a foul called. You know what I mean? There's, you have to show up in person quota. to the office. Well, you might, if you call a foul, the other, the team yells at you, and that's really emotionally difficult. Yeah. Like if every you time I the do something, too much. these guys came up and they were like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> like I wouldn't want to do that as much. I like it's... your impression of soccer players yelling at the ref is Wario. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I win. That's all they're saying, right? I mean, yeah. I do always wonder what if there are any language barriers in those situations. If they're just like speaking different languages to each other, it's just like I, I don't, I have I no clue whole, what you're saying to me. <laughs> I read a whole like Reddit post or something once about like the, the, the languages, but you know, how that works. I don't remember any of the answer, but I did oh, once have the I was same excited to hear that. <laughs> I mean, English probably is the next, the, probably the, I, the referees, I do know this, that FIFA, like the go-to language is English. Like if you can't, if you okay. don't speak the same languages, just use, try to use English. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a, uh, there's a funny, the team that I support in Europe, Juventus, they had a coach, Antonio Conte, who's very animated because he, he's Italian and he's got to be, um, I can say that because I'm Italian. Uh, so uh, he's very animated and there's a point where he's sending on one of his substitutes and he's going just nuts. He's like, uh, telling him this, this, and this, and the substitute, the camera's still on them. And as Conte walks away, the substitute looks to to his teammates and just goes, it's the funniest <laughs> thing I think I've ever seen. He clearly got zero of what the coach was telling him. So That's it looks great. like Maldonado got hit in the eye really hard. Is that what's happening? Yeah, he definitely took a took a backhand to the face. I think it, I think it was the eyeball specifically that uh, he, and he seems genuinely fucked up right now crucial part of the eye the eyeball (laughs) and and i think vince you were saying we don't have very many center back subs at the moment oh not very not not very many zero there are (laughs) zero center back subs on and and the one guy that you would uh say hey you maybe play center back he's now playing right back because ryan hollingshead has come out of the game and uh sergi palencia is playing right back so okay so get that magic spray out (laughs) for the eyeball Right in the eye. Right in the eyes, yeah. Uh, Corner. All right. All right. Here we go. Corner. We need Vela here. I feel like I've been punched in the face. All right. Let's do it. Turn this around. Let's do this, Vela. Come on. Maddie. I feel like we're starting to get reps in, you know, like they're starting to get loose. It's it's really late to be doing that, but like <laughs> something's gotta something's gonna happen eventually, right? Maddie made contact, just didn't have uh, he did get a head on there. The <laughs> rancho says that when Vela takes a corner, there's men with riot uh shields to protect <laughs> <laughs> Which has got to be terrifying, but also kind of badass, right? Yeah. The Brimick says by minute 110, we should be fully loose. That's where I'm at, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, Darren, they're going to come off this game and be like, if we had another 30 minutes or so, yeah. we would have killed us. Yeah, exactly. I mean, luckily, right, we have good. a full game after this to come back from, which we've done before. Yeah. Which we've already established. Adam will be at. Travis, will you be there as well? I will be there. I will be there. I think my wife's joining me. Unless Danny Buwanga wants to meet me alone. <laughs> no, um, no, we, we need him on the field. We'll go ahead. And okay, yeah, then my wife will be joining me. <laughs> How does that dynamic go? Does she enjoy being at soccer games with you, or is that not, not a... Uh... You know, she's more of a basketball fan, and I yeah. think she also... Um, I get so stressed out that I think it's not the most fun... <laughs> um place for a casual fan to because i can be fully stressed out and comfortable around her where like if i bring a friend i can i have to chat i can't be as much of a nightmare um but when jen is there i am full nightmare mode (laughs) what what would you say your mode is has been for this watch along um 
Yeah, how does this compare to Full Nightmare? <laughs> how would you describe this as Full Nightmare? Because it's not Full no, Nightmare. I, I don't think so. No. <laughs> yeah, you got you three all would, know him much better than I do. So I would maybe like to think I've seen you at Full Nightmare. I mean, my my I, I don't know that I can place it, but the playoff game that we lost in what what would it have been 2018 or whatever what year yeah was it, it was it was the year that we had the really good season when we got 2019 2019. 2019 yeah and so out of the game travis travis was just kind of like mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, just like apoplectic at that point just like just, yeah just like just like you know not you have to look a little close and then you realize that he's he's about to have a breakdown <laughs> But you, from far away, you're like, oh, that guy looks pretty normal. But then he's, you know, he's clearly containing an explosion, you know. Well, and that's well, when he asked funny. me to be quiet. We were, we were leaving the game and I was like, just trying to make jokes. Like, oh, I had a fun time. Blah, 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 blah. And Travis was like, please stop talking to me. Oh, was, I, yeah. Adam, please tell me you were the guy that was like, well, they'll have another game, right? I mean, they'll always play another game. It's not going to be a big deal. You were trying to make me feel better, which is very kind. But it, but to be fair, you were my boss. So it's like, I'm very upset and I'm with my boss and he's trying to make me feel better. And I'm like, I'm like, uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I would, I would love to imagine that you respected me enough to be stressed out about that in a work situation, but I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe that you in fact did. You're I right. think that was our relationship. I think we were friends. I think you're right. <laughs> Maybe that's when you became friends. Yes. Yes. Last no, it's, in the chat. It, it speaks that to us being friends that I could be, I could ask you to stop talking in that moment. <laughs> yep. Uh, Ross yep. Brandon in the chat says he's a Knicks fan. He's got plenty of practice managing the pain. <laughs> yeah. No LAC is my release. No truer <laughs> words have been spoken on this watch along. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think Joe Mandy was at that game with us as well. Am I wrong? Oh yeah, he was. Yeah. You're right. Um, and he was allowed to keep talking. He was fine. Yeah, so I didn't mind Joe. A talking. little awkward. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, he invented Lacroix, so you know. Yeah. Um, Darren, you didn't read this comment from Chris, my man Travis, doing a great job. I don't know why oh, you didn't yes, read that one out. <laughs> Sorry, my man Travis, doing a great job from Chris. One one two five nine two. Oh. Full handle. Oh. Oh, Jonathan oh. McCarthy. Jonathan McCarthy. John McCarthy. Oh my God. Let's go. I was just Love about to him. say that Cheeky made a great defensive play, but then immediately gave the ball away. And then John's like, I got to make two saves right back to oh. back. My oh, God. God. Wow. Philadelphia. Fuck, man. Ooh. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, John's walking off that field being like, I did everything I could, guys. Yeah, seriously. Yep. I mean, how many saves does he have? I don't have stats in front of me, but we it should be five nothing, six nothing. Yeah, I would say he has at least five saves, which is a, a lot for a goal for a goalkeeper in soccer. I think that uh, I, I find goalkeepers funny because they're the only athletes who are mad when they have to do their jobs. <laughs> they're like, they're like, ah, I can't believe you put me in that position of having to do anything. <laughs> Oh my God, Adam, you wouldn't know this and no one would know this because I said this before we even got on camera, but we were watching a different game and I pointed out a goalkeeper that I go, I love him so much because it, a guy could take a shot from 30 yards out, it could go out for a throw-in and he's going to run at the defender and go, what the fuck are you doing? And it's like, <laughs> I don't know, man, save the ball. It's your job. <laughs> you do occasionally have to do it. Yeah. It is really like lockwork. Any, any keeper after a great save is screaming at his team. Yeah. Well, there's some Why did I touch that others, ball? Though. I should not ever have to touch the ball. It's not like when Mookie Betts has to field a fly ball, he's screaming at you know Kershaw, being like, "Why'd you let him do that?" You know? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's I was having a great conversation could, with someone in the, in the bleachers from soccer. <laughs> yeah, you should be ma- meaner to the pitcher. <laughs> yeah, just catch a fly ball and be like. I what, think the what, difference what, is the pitcher. What are we doing out here? The pitcher is the pressure player in the way that the goalkeeper is. The pitcher should be yelling at the. I guess there's no reason yeah. they should be. Uh, I I feel like goalkeepers are are they're a unique brand of psycho because you choose to be alone on the field. You face a different direction, and you can never win the game. You can only lose the game. Even when you yep. play as well as he just played, you know, like you're gonna be. Uh, People aren't going to be like, "Wow, John McCarthy won that game for us." At Wait, any point. but that's but that Besides is exactly what people said after the Cup final, right? Because we went game. to PKs. 
But yeah. I, when I was a goalie, I loved PKs because it is the only place where you could win and no one expects you to save. Um, so all By you can way, do is succeed in PKs. Not enough people talked about this. I did miss the MLS Cup game. I went to the party at the stadium the next day. Mm -hmm. um, and McCarthy had the best time I've ever seen anyone have. He was, first of all, wearing jeans. He was the only player wearing jeans for some reason. It just like didn't make sense to wear jeans, but he was wearing <laughs> jeans. I think a cow, maybe a cowboy hat. He was so hammered. What was everyone else wearing? <laughs> I, they were wearing like a jersey and like like athletic pants, like you know, like like okay, Nike, okay. like Nike yeah. tear pants. You know, um, like, he was. We could do that again if right now if you if you said we had to play, we could play. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> but he was. I've never seen anybody drunker, and uh, <laughs> he and like everyone was like, "Yeah, man, get fucking wasted." Like you. Yeah. It was at the end of the game when they had uh, Max on uh, on FaceTime, and he was like, "I love you, Max." It it did sound like he was drunk at the game. <laughs> <laughs> he took a few shots to take the edge off before the PK. Yeah, that party was so good. By the way, they let the guy who releases Ollie speak. It was <laughs> it was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> like he gave a, he, Ali's trainer gave a speech. <laughs> it was, it, it's, it a was so, it's a team effort. It's a team effort. I really done it with really, that. Man. <laughs> it was like unhinged. It you talking so about Ali's dad? Ali's dad? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, they're related, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I want to hear what Ali has to say. You know, we can never get to talk. We got a score. <laughs> oh, it has been my life goal to be the Falconer one day. I never will be because they'll be like, and Vince LaRosa, and everyone would be like, to be fair, what? that's the response to like everyone when they go. <laughs> no yeah, way, dude. Vince, you could do it. I went once, Barbara Ferrer, LA County head of the Department of Health, and I, she got a huge pop from me. I was like, Barbara Ferrer! <laughs> yeah, because I follow local politics. <laughs> Which, of course, everyone else in the stadium, I'm sure, had a similar reaction. Oh, come yeah. on. Come on. Come on, guys. Uh, it does feel the game feels very different this half. I don't know if maybe Leon is playing a different. Have you noticed anything, Vince? Or are you as laugh happy as I am at the moment? Uh, no, they're not. They haven't been pushing as many numbers forward. They're definitely more conservative because, again, 2 0, fantastic yep. for them. Mm -hmm. 2 to 1, disaster. There's and LAFC some... still finding ways to give them other chances. So they yeah, got to be like, well, why, why would we throw guys forward? Our passing has been rough today. Abject. Yeah. I, I would yeah. feel pretty okay with where we're at if it was like the 60th minute. Brimick says, we're still getting loose. Almost there. <laughs> <laughs> I think Brimick and I, the Brimick and I have been very much on the same page this whole game. Yeah. Shout Brimick out to the is just you in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, it's just that's my. Yeah, I mean, Luke, Darren, it was the 60th minute, here. and See we were at this of the game. score, so you were feeling okay at the 60th minute. But then, what happened to your feeling? Mm. Great point. You know, you feel okay because you think something's gonna keep getting better. Yeah, it's a plateau. I would feel great if time never passed. Then I would <laughs> oh, feel amazing all something. the time. Yeah. I do gen genuinely constantly feel like, uh, you know, time is out of my control. So that's beautiful. One of the major um, things I struggle with in life is uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> time is a real roller coaster, guys. When you guys asked us to do this live stream, do you think we you thought we'd talk about time? <laughs> <laughs> guys, you know, if you think about it, I, I don't think time works the way that we think it does. I think we, we've, yeah. we've created a measurement for it that uh, you know works to get through the day. But okay, you, shot on goal, sort of. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if you guys know this, but tra uh, but Darren does have something prepared uh, at the 90th minute that he would like yeah, to read out. Yeah, want to talk out, about but... chronology as a concept. <laughs> what do you guys think about this? You're only going to find it over at the uh, Happy Foot, Sad Foot post-game live stream, which will be 10 minutes <laughs> after the game over at YouTube.com slash at Happy Foot, Sad Foot. You could call in. Tell us how you're feeling after this very rough game. You'll get the pure uncut version of Happy Foot, Sad Foot over but on YouTube. But what I want to talk about is, is it really 10 minutes after the game? <laughs> what is 10 minutes exactly? And is it after 
Really? Yeah. Or is Do it know? simultaneous? Can we know for sure? Because in some world, some world, LAFC is actually up two to nil. Oh, and I hadn't thought continue. about that. That's yeah. true. Yeah, in in uh, uh, Bizarro World from Superman. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, but Skill Nine says, "What even is ten? I think that's a great point. That's a great question. That's that's a human. It's a human construct, bro. It's not it's not natural." Swa Six says, "Must score two now." Couldn't agree more. <laughs> Agreed a hundred percent. Dwayne has scored two Duenas. now. Dwayne has but Dwayne is for Dwayne is getting the time for Tillman. Tillman, interesting. Okay. And Tillman's like, you don't have the board ready, bro. Come on. <laughs> Clown shoes. You have one job. Also, another thing I've always wanted to do is be this guy to like raise up the board. Yeah. I don't know why. It just seems I... who's he showing it to? <laughs> like it's so big <laughs> the players already know right <laughs> who's it for <laughs> he's he's like take I... a look everybody look at this who needs to see it the player coming off i assume right he was already there <laughs> i feel like that's not normal that the player's already there yeah okay so <laughs> no but, yeah, dude, but to like, his oh, point I tillman's see- like i'm already here like i could just come off the field he's like no don't do it it's only official if I hold up this little board. <laughs> All the little rituals are really funny to me. Like, uh, I don't know. I love, I love the handing of the red card, you know, like, mm-hmm. like this. And in my head, I think that they should have to take the card and put it in their pocket and bring it home. <laughs> yeah. That's. I yeah, think they, they should have be have stickers in and he should put them on their shirt. And so yeah. that way oh, so they're knows. branded yeah. like a dunce cap situation. Yep. It's I've just so funny to have a little card. You're like, you see, uh oh, you saw, you saw the cursed card. Mm, you see, yeah. you see it. I, I, so, so, uh, and similarly, I felt like there should be a trophy that is instead of a trophy, it's a championship belt. And until someone else won that belt, you got to walk into the stadium holding it above your head each day. Yeah, I feel like game. players would get very into that if the MLS Cup was a belt. I like That's it. Great. We we have five ish minutes plus in the chat. Some we need some more rules that you yeah. would like to add to soccer. I'll, I'll add one. Um, it, if when giving cards, because we're now being able to like put them on people at some point he gets through it and there's like a, a joker in there. So it's like, get out of jail. And he goes like, Oh, Oh, I guess you're good. I'm sorry. That's like you're going to get a red. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Let's not get, or um, you get a, if you get a red card on um, survivor, they have this thing called the shot in the dark where you have a one in six chance of being immune from getting voted off. And if you play your shot in the dark, you just maybe if you get a red card, you have a one in six. Ooh, God damn it. That was so close. But is there, uh, is there, a, is there a harsher, like, so you were going to be sent away anyways, you can play this one in six chance, but is there like a harsher penalty for trying it? Or? On Survivor, you don't get a vote if you play it. So maybe, it. maybe, yeah, there has to be, maybe it's for yellow cards. And if you play it and you don't get the yellow card, you, you, you end up with you you a red. red card. Yeah. Ooh, I like it. Okay. Yeah. I think there, uh, I think, the the coach should be allowed to throw a penny on and run and and be the sub. <laughs> There's just like pennies. Well, there have been player managers in the past. Famously, yes, John Luca Vialli it, used to do it for Chelsea. Yes, but I think this rule should be that you can only come in like post 80th minute. Okay. It's like a it has to be like a last ditch effort situation. Uh, the Bremer, uh, the. Uh, the, the funny thing is we've been on the same page this whole game, but I still don't know how to pronounce whether it's the Brimic or the Brimic. <laughs> Uh I think if you're leading the league in goals, you should get a special jersey like in the Tour de France. I think that's a great call. I like that. That's fun. Yeah, Brimic, like Bwanga has adding a, cool a thousand great idea in the chat. I'll tell you one of the weird things that is actually true of soccer. You can start a game... An official game, like this game that's playing right now, technically could be started without nets in the goal. You cannot start a game without corner flags. What? Whoa. That is literally in the laws of the game. Why? Well, Vince, how would people know where the corners are <laughs> without the flags? Yeah, the net's just the net's just for fun. The net's just to make it look nice when the when right. the ball hits the back and all ripples and you know that it hit it, you know, but but that feels important. I feel like it, the ball could go in through the side of the net and you wouldn't necessarily know if the net wasn't there. It does feel like it's asking a lot of referees and assistant referees who we already have 
said on this uh, very watch long are not up to up to the task. Yeah. <laughs> Rancho <laughs> says I should be able to give the ref a card. <laughs> Just him. Not fans in general. Just Rancho Just specifically Rancho. should be allowed. <laughs> the, yeah, uh, the cards uh, the cards should be collectible and you get to play a little game with them if you get enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're get, we're getting close to the 90th edition. minute. This game clearly didn't go the way that we wanted it to. Do we have any takeaways for what we need to do? next game that we want to talk about or how we feel leaving this game because i feel you like you gotta score three goals yes okay that's, adam that's a good start <laughs> yeah <laughs> two will do it yeah, regulation we can do it too. We can do tell, it too. tell you what i'm just so impressed travis brought adam to his first game and he's already like learning that you need more goals than the other team like he's just <laughs> killing it so, this guy's so smart <laughs> Vince, watch so out. It goes, it goes you know? to extra time if it's uh, um, <laughs> if it's if it's tied at the end of the second leg. Uh huh. It would. Mm -hmm. There actually is extra time, and then those those special magical penalties, which I don't want to go there, but I guess if we have to, we have John McCarthy at least. We're and great we to be at home. Yes, and we'd be at home. Oof! What are we doing? I mean, we're being positive. <laughs> yeah, it's. <laughs> It's, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of times you talk about teams being like composed and a little more brave. Like they just need to like own it, you know, like guys, it's going to be hard. Like let's get it together. Pass to pass to the guys in our team's Jersey. Yeah. I mean, there's no way around it. We got punched in the face today. They played much better than us. Um, in almost all facets of the game, we got it back together in the second half, but this was not what we all expected coming into this game. Um, yeah, we're we're at a point now where I feel like if we start the second leg in this state, it's like decent. It's like still not great. Mm. It's still like ugh. How is that Dwayne? Yes, <laughs> Dwayne just can't. Oh, it was plenty. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I, I guess they call. I mean, Dwayne is the one that came out with it. But... Well, we're into uh, stoppage okay. time, and we've had a, a great guest, Adam Khan, over here. Adam, uh, it's uh, I guess in any other instance, it would be a good question, a good thing to ask you, like what would you like to plug or anything like that. But I, I don't know how to ask this question. So, uh, do you want to have people follow you, or what would you like to leave? Uh, yeah, oh, no. sure. You oh. No fucking way! Oh wow! Oh man! <laughs> oh, oh no! Wait. It's called back. What's happening? He called okay. back. Fucking God, Jesus! Oh my God! Oh, well, I'm not plugging anything. Oh no, it's now. still bad. Don't worry, it's still a terrible situation. Uh, if you thought that we were saved from a from a bad situation, you're wrong. Wait, why? What happened? There's an injury. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh, he just got his head hit by a full human body. That's all. Yeah. Oh, and he landed on his head. Okay. Uh, somewhat impressive way to score a goal, but definitely a foul. <laughs> Yeah, he straight up jumped oh, over. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so the move there is to just check so, him, hockey check in the air. They heard our back line is thin. Adam, I don't care what you have to plug anymore. It, the minute you started <laughs> saying that, things went terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's when finally actually, things I was started gonna, going poorly. I was going to wear that. I was going to say it was my fault for trying to. <laughs> be cute with you know everything was going Adam great and then all of a sudden we talked about plugging adam and for the first time in the whole game, things went <laughs> the game yeah the game was fine up until then adam what do you have to plug i'm sorry that's on me that's on me oh i got a youtube channel people can check out my youtube channel well that, that'll do it well, how, how would they find this oh it's YouTube on channel. youtube you search for adam cano <laughs> it's <laughs> on youtube yeah it's a youtube you gotta, channel you got a spoon feed you got a spoon feed you know yes yeah, I mean, so you gotta you gotta go to YouTube.com, you go up, there's a little bar type, type Adam Conover, and you click <laughs> click some of those. And uh, there, and and you know, there are video, do interviews and, and uh, monologues and things like that. Uh, people come come see me on the road. I'm touring, uh, doing stand up comedy. Tickets available at adamconover.net. If you live in Illinois, Missouri, Maryland, or Rhode Island, those are the only states I go to. <laughs> <laughs> You're banned. The standard Adam, Adam Conover tour. <laughs> yeah. Band only the, only the best states like maryland and rhode island the big ones <laughs> and they're they're heavy in the chat tonight for the <laughs> fck rhode island stand up 
Rhode Island is oh, all if, if anyone shows up to any of those dates saying I saw you on the LFC watch along, oh my I will god, be... that'd be incredible. Probably Amazing. let's go. Come on. Well, thank you, Adam. We will see thank you, you Adam. Sunday at BMO. And hopefully I'll we'll see, see a lot I'll of be people there. on the watch along also Sunday at BMO. But I want to thank you for for hanging out with us and uh going through our going we've went through a lot of stages of grief here. <laughs> Pretty rough. Uh, it will. We'll have a great time. We'll, we'll get. We'll get him at BMO. I love you, Adam. Thank you for hanging out. Love you guys. Bye bye. There he goes. And no true Thanks, words Adam. have been said. We will get them at BMO. I. I, I have faith. I have faith. This, this will be my one positive BMO. moment. I, we will get them at BMO. Uh, okay. Well, okay. Okay. This is. This is going to be like the last attack of the game. This has to be. Oh, come on. Just please for me. The ref's gonna blow the whistle like as we're in the motion of doing right. this. Uh oh, oh, Stipe. oh, oh, Stipe, just a little softer, please. I know he really, <laughs> really pinged that one in there. Look, <laughs> like, the right. first one was too soft. This one was a little bit too much. Now you know, in the hundred and thirtieth minute, we can just put one just right. Yeah, he's like, try to get ahead on this. Ooh, that Ooh. was a good chance, oh. man. Yeah. Oh, it was good. It was I just want to say we've done it before. We've done it before. We've done it before. We have to remember that. Right. Yeah, I mean, literally. <laughs> Way offside. You think? Oh, did they call him off? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Andrew Ford in the chat says, LAFC should score more. Yeah, I... <laughs> I couldn't agree more, Andrew. Oh, man. Is there a way we can get a direct line to the team uh, <laughs> to let them know that that is a tactic available to them? Uh, I, I will be at training probably before the next match, and I will deliver that message. Okay, thank you oh, so much. Oh, thank you. I absolutely That's promise. That's great. And I'll probably never be welcome back again, but I'll do that for <laughs> you guys. And before the stream ends, I just want to say to LAFC and to Vince, thank you so much for having the Happy Foot, Sad Foot podcast on. This is like truly a dream. It was so exciting even to just see ourselves on the – LAFC Instagram or whatever. So thank you for having us. It's been so Absolutely. fun. Absolutely. This is amazing. Yeah, if you if you loved the boys from Happy Foot Sad Foot on the podcast or even you, just tolerated us. Or just tolerated them. Do do a couple of things. One, go to YouTube and go to their YouTube app. Oh yes! 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 All we had to do was plug it. All we had to do was plug the podcast, baby. Plug the podcast. Yes, baby. <laughs> Fuck yes! yes! That beautiful man. Oh my god. Happy foot. Danny Bo <laughs> Yeah, scream at everyone in the crowd. Danny! Yes! Did Danny he win the game? Bulanga. Does Danny that win the game? That should count as three goals, no? Yeah, double birds. That's my oh hero. My Whoever that was in the stands. Yes, you pop that bottle of champagne. We'll pop it in a loss. Do it. This no, no, feels no. like a win. This this was if Danny Buanga scores any goal, and this goal feels incredible right now for my boy, Denny. Oh, I love the referee Denny. being like, get back to the center circle. Oh, my God. What a finish. Wow. The 97th easy. minute. Oh. oh, you know what? Ah! Travis, I'll say that the champagne is not just perfect for Denny, but it came from Sergi, who was with him at San Etienne. It's the oh. San Etienne connection. Oh. Oh. This, oh, my God. The live stream after the game is going to be so much more fun now. I can't tell you how relieved I am. I did not check have out to the talk about that. Last stream. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. I'm sorry for swearing so much. Oof. Andrew Ford in the chat said we need to score oh, more. Oh, talking shit. And he and he's got like, it. He's like, Andrew but you understand. Ford. All credit to Andrew Ford. But you understand what he that goal what means, do. right? He's like, you, you saw that, didn't you? <laughs> to Denny Buwanga, a glass of fancy French champagne. Off champagne. I fancy French. Travis. What was the exact price of the champagne? Let's talk about that. Um, it was. Oh, now he's. Oh, oh, oh. Now we're in their heads. Going into the second leg, we're in the we're in the right is spot. That, okay. Is, is this is a basically a win, guys. <sighs> Truly, not a joke. Only down one goal going home isn't not so bad. Yeah. Are those not is that so blood? bad? Oh no, it's. Rancho tape. says Bowanga no, blast. Bowanga blast. Everyone get out your bunny ears. <laughs> Bowanga Blast bing, 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 or whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry XO for yelling. Says, told you, do you know when I told you LAFC will definitely be making oh, no, a comeback? The watch along is the... I haven't seen you in the chat in a long time coming back just for this. <laughs> the watch along is the one place where we're supposed to go crazy and react. And there it is. It's over. It's two to one. Yeah.
Oh my Ooh. God, I've never been so happy to lose by one. Wrap it up. Get get on the bus. Right, get on the plane. Unbelievable. Get the fuck out of Just there. Go. Let's go. Go straight to BMO. Oh, start like training. We, it literally feels like we stole something. And we should act like it and just get out of there. And both of their goals were not off play. It was right. it was set pieces. It's true. And it's true. Oh. Yeah, I think now uh, on paper, th- that exactly that is it exactly. It was two like fluke goals, you might say. You, you might oh. even say it just, it just so happened to go in. I would say this is a one zero win for look us. at them celebrating <laughs> the loss. But look, you know, that's why there's two legs to this, right? Like, theoretically, each team's going to win at home, right? Right. Percentage of how you felt before and after that goal of confidence. Oh. I, can't. I mean, I'm just uh, I'm like sorry we, to everyone we were, watching we were, the watch along. I feel like this could have been the energy the whole time in a different world, and uh, it might have been more fun to watch. But... Well, I'm asking because I thought we were all being brave little soldiers, putting on a brave face. We're like, yeah, you know, we 2 0, we've done it before, we could do it again. But I, I'm going to be honest with you, I felt about 25% sure we could do it again, and now I'm like rocketed up to like 75. Uh, I feel like I just got like a B12 shot in the butt. I feel incredible. I'm, uh, it really was like, you know, the worst case scenario for doing a watch along is we're down at the eighth minute (laughs) and we (laughs) soldiered through it. But guess what? We felt the pop of release, the pop of the beautiful French champagne uh, for Denny Buanga. Ooh, I feel great. And I'm going to bring that energy to the live show. Look, look, if you were just going to hit a random game, LAFC at home and said, do you think we could handle this down one goal going into it? Of course you'd take that. Of course, at home. And it had to be Danny Bonga. Seventh, seventh goal, still, obviously, still leads Champions League, all Champions League goal scorers. He loves scoring at home. He loves scoring in general. The guy loves scoring. I bet you he goes out to, like, just random rec fields and pops a couple in. You know what? Fun. We've talked about this on our podcast a lot. It's actually a problem. It's an addiction. Yeah, he has an he addiction. Has. Yeah. We're worried and about he's, him. He's, it's an illness. And then she showed it right there. I mean, if you can't get through the game without scoring, like, he couldn't even – he couldn't even close it out without scoring. He just couldn't do it. His body couldn't handle it. He had to <laughs> score. And it's a real problem. I mean, he, we've said this before again, but once the season's over in the offseason, when it's safe, he should get help. I will I will personally drive him to the Betty Ford Clinic of scoring. <laughs> Drop him off as he done as he does one last line of goals on the on the It's a real problem. I mean, if you look at him versus everyone else who's scored and the numbers, I he, it's out of control. I mean, it's it's not normal. Right. This is not normal levels of goal scoring. This something's going on. Well, this watch along took a turn in the best uh, possible way. Uh, we 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 basically wrapped it up by telling you how we felt about that game. I don't think there's much more to add other than this. If you love this and you loved Happy Foot, Sad Foot, it doesn't have to end because they're going to jump over. We got to a post game show, channel. baby. They've got a post game show. You can get into the comments. Hop over YouTube. But do me another favor. If you love this, because I, I do genuinely, as much as it was excruciating times, I'd love to do this again. Maybe uh, maybe send uh, LAFC a tweet and say, hey, loved the happy foot, sad foot guys, and I love the watch long. I would like it if we did this for more away games. You can I mention would, liking Vince, too, if I you would want. Watch of course, that. Vince LaRosa, yeah. the man, tying um, everything together. Yeah, and if you would, you know, if you want to tell LAFC, uh, hashtag hire Vince, that always goes <laughs> a long way. They, <laughs> definitely, they definitely are racking it up. We haven't reached the limit yet where they will, in fact, hire me, but we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> you say from the LAFC stream. <laughs> As I say, yeah. <laughs> Seems hey, like a situation where you were, in fact, hired. Yeah. Uh- <laughs> we did it before. We're going to fucking do it again. We're going to win at home on Sunday. I'll see you guys on the live stream. Thank you so much for letting us do this. Uh, yeah, this I love amazing. all of you. So thanks for fun. hanging out. This was so fun. Thank Big thanks to Vince LaRosa, the, the smartest man in the LAFC. Thank you, Vince. Thank, and thank you to the production team that uh, put this all together. You guys did an incredible job. This was wonderful. Yes. Yeah, this was... A technic a technical feat. Yeah, because the three of us uh, barely can turn on our computers and or microphones. So the fact that this got to your eyeballs means somebody in the background was doing a lot of work. So yes, thank you to them. Yes, thank you, Travis. Thank you, Darren. I'm Vince LaRosa. Thank you, LAFC, for having me on and having these guys on. We we'll hope to do it again and we will see you Sunday, Sunday, 6 p.m. BMO Stadium. 
The com- comeback trail starts with that Denny Bawanga goal, and it goes all the way to BMO Stadium, and we're going to lift that trophy on Sunday. So we'll see you. They're going to regret that. They're going to regret giving up that goal. I love they, you. Bye. They, they poke the bear. Bye. Bye. I love-